Hey Rob, it's VI Preloader Elio from New York. I uh, wanted to uh, share a story with you. So at the end of private uh, lesson number three, um, at the end of our, our last exercise, follow the leader, um, I had expressed to you how in love I was with your 2019 CVO Street Glide. Uh, that stage three and the TAP Performance 50 calibers, the colors of the bike, and of course the most impressive part being behind you, watching you control that bike. Uh, it was almost like that you weren't sitting on a bike, that that bike was part of you. Uh, so at the end of that, you granted me the honor of sitting on your CVO. And um, if you remember, I turned to you and I said, oh man, I, I think you just cost me some money, Rob, because I want a CVO. And uh, you turned around and you were like, oh, come on, man, don't be crazy. You know, you have a nice bike. So I wanted to share with you um, my CVO. So it's a 2022 CVO Street Glide Blue Steel with the scorched chrome. Now that's actually not the part of the story that I wanted to share with you. So months ago, obviously before we did our training, I actually bought that bike. And after 142 miles, I returned it because it was too heavy for me. Now I watched your videos before we met and You've always said that the weight of the bike is irrelevant. And although I understood that, I didn't really believe that 100%. So <clears throat> when I got home um, from training, uh, a few days later, I went to Harley and I bought my bike back. Like not the same make and model, but my actual bike, the bike that I traded in that one number. So with that said, the bike is no longer too heavy for me. I do believe and I know that the weight of the bike is completely irrelevant. And uh, what I said was true. You definitely cost me money, but uh, friends should never fight over money. So thank you very much. And uh, we'll be in touch for sure. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Preloaders, VI Preloaders, welcome back to the channel, guys. Always a pleasure to have you guys here with me, and you know this by now, or at least you should. All right, guys, practice session number 53 today. Um, weather's looking good, uh, and I'm excited about it, as always. I'm sorry. For those of you that don't know who I am, my name's Robert. I'm a retired NYPD Highway Patrol motorcycle lieutenant. And the name of this channel is called Be the Boss of Your Motorcycle. That's right, your motorcycle. And that means any type of motorcycle. Um, sports bikes, adventure bikes, touring bikes, you name it, DCTs. We're out here to be the boss of our motorcycles on whatever kind of motorcycles we ride. All right, it's important that I state that. This is Scarlet, for those of you that don't know. This is my 2015. CB1000R, and this is Scarlett's first time attending a practice session, right? Now, I did bring Scarlett out here um, in a couple of videos before this video, uh, introducing her to slow speed riding and to you guys, uh, letting you know that the sport bike, I can do the same things on the sport bike as I can on my touring bikes. 
Um, and if you guys didn't see that video, I put it up here on the right hand part of the screen. Um, and it, 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 it was different and new for me as well, but I needed you guys to see that the rules don't change. So yeah, we're gonna be doing stuff today uh, with Scarlet all day and that's follow the leader, that's the slow ride, that's um, obviously one through nine and the bonus. Uh, now listen, I'll, this is what I'm gonna talk to you guys about. Before I get into anything else, I got a VI preloader here today, his name is Joel. Joel is from Texas. Now I told you guys that I'm looking to do a practice session, a traveling practice session in Texas. And Joel was nice enough to put me in contact with someone. His, his name is Larry out in Texas. And we're trying to uh, get a location. Now, it's important that you guys understand this. All right. The practice session in Texas, as bad as I want to do it, if I don't have enough people to make it make sense, it's just not going to happen. All right. So if you live in Texas or if you're anywhere near Texas and you're interested in attending traveling practice session, right? It's going to be in the Dallas area. It's Princeton, Texas, all right? That's the location I'm looking at. It's not locked down yet. My point is, this has to make sense, all right? This is going to be $300 per participant, okay? And I'm looking to do this October 8th and October 9th, two days, all right? This is a long way for me to travel just to do this one day, all right? So two days. If this is something you're interested in, send me an email, all right? Send me an email and let me know to put you on the reservation list. And I'm, I'm, I'm trying to cap it the same way I did with Maryland and Ohio and Jersey, which is 15 riders per session. That's the cap. I can't, that's already stretching it. So I, I don't want to go any further than that. So again, if you guys are interested, send me an email so we can get you on the reservation list. And if um, you can't do Saturday, maybe you could do Sunday. And if both those dates are full, I'm going to have a reserve list as well because people always uh, cancel for whatever reason. But keep in mind, guys, when it gets to a certain point, like a certain date, then there's no cancellations, right? Because um, I can't have people telling me, oh, sorry, I can't come now. Please give me my money back. <laughs> you can cancel. I'm sorry. You're just not going to get a refund because once you make that payment, it's set, right? I'm already on my way, right? There's exceptions to everything, but it's important that you guys understand that. Anyway, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I'm not going to get too happy about it until I actually see interest in it all right anyway enough about that all right guys so as always happy to see you guys here um we're here to be the boss of the motorcycle i already told you about that that's what this channel is all about this channel is all about positivity um each one teach one environment right there's all skill levels that come out here and we help each other out there's no arrogance there's no judgment there's nothing but support preload nation i'm telling you above and beyond all of you guys are and if you're new to this channel and you're not subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. It definitely helps out my channel. It helps me out. Hit the like button. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified as soon as I put a new video out. And share these videos, guys. Share these videos. All right? I'm also on Instagram, guys. If you don't know about that, that's Be The Boys Your Motorcycle. I have a Facebook group. My wife just changed the name of the Facebook group. All right? It used to be Preload and Keep It Loaded. She changed it to Robert Simmons Be The Boys Your Motorcycle. Um, and we're going to change that to just be the boss of your motorcycle too, but you got to wait 28 days before you can change it. Okay. I want everything to be uniform. So nobody has to guess, well, what's the name of his Facebook? What's the name of his TikTok? Be the boss of your motorcycle. Yes. I'm on TikTok too. Right. All right. So anyway, one through nine out here today, guys, and a bonus, uh, follow the leader, slow race. We're going to have a ball as we always do. And you know, when the VIP loaders get here, we're going to talk to them, find out who they are where they're from, what they ride, how long they've been riding, and how long they've been practicing slow speed riding. That's the most important thing. All right, guys? All right, Scarlett, you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. All right, before I even ask you your name, you are ready to go. Unless you're about to commit a crime, you got gloves on already. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> What's your name? Jeez. Yeah, man. Jeez. Stephen Pleasant and I reside in Raleigh, North Carolina for the past year, uh -huh. and I moved from D.C. after being there for 30 years. Ah, okay. And yes. how long have you been riding the motorcycle? It'll be six months this week now. Beautiful. So six months, 5,350 miles or something. Wow, you're day. getting those miles in, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, here comes the important question. How long yes. have you been practicing slow speed riding? Well, I consider that I practice it all the time good. because I'm always thinking about when I'm stopping, good. keeping it preloaded and good, all of that. Good. But I've only done 
a course like this three times. Okay, good. You hear what he just said? And that's what I talk about all the time when I say practice is a state of mind. And if you have time to ride, you have time to practice. So if he's riding all of those miles, and I always say what we do out here, you have to start and you have to stop. You have to slow down. There's no way around it. So you should be comfortable doing it. So that's asking. I'm, I'm glad you said that because it, it, it definitely points to what I'm always saying. Yeah. What are you riding today? I'm riding my Harley Pan America. This is their first model of ADV slash touring bike. Uh -huh. I have not taken it off road yet. Okay. I'm taking. What you plan on? A, after I take a course in off road riding. Okay. Okay. So it's their first model, 2021. They have the 2022 out, and um, of course, it looks different than any other Harley. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. But I love it. It's my first bike. I've not ridden any other bike. Mm-hmm. Other, okay, good. Other than that, that little toy bike that we did for the training. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I could not fit on, right? Gotcha, gotcha. So I have nothing to compare it to. And why are you here today? Because I love learning. You know, good. I'm a geek like that. I love <laughs> learning stuff. It's good to be a geek when it comes to stuff like this. This kind of geek, this kind of geekness might save your life one day. Yes. Yeah, so pleasure to meet you, man. Likewise. On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the best, how would you rate your slow speed skills? 2.5. Okay. 2.5. What's your name, bud? Joel. Joel Peoples. Joel, where are you from? Texas, Dallas area. Ah, and I already talked to you guys about Joel. Now you see a face. That's Joel. Joel <laughs> Peoples. Joel, how long have you been riding the motorcycle? I guess October, really, since October. About oh, that. Okay. And um, how long have you been practicing slow speed riding? About since October. Good. That's what I love to hear. So right from the start, you've been doing it right. Yep. What are you riding today? Road King. 2019 Road King over there. Okay. And how long you had that now? Since believe... October? No, not no? since October. That's since about probably May or June. So before that, I had a Vulcan, but pretty close to the same bike. So Okay, yep. outstanding. And why are you here today? Oh, man, it's so much fun. And more importantly, I want to be the boss of my bike. There we go, brother. Pleasure to meet you, man. All right, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the best, how would you rate yourself slow speed skills? <laughs> Call it maybe a 5, maybe a 6. Not sure. All right. All right, what's your name, man? Uh, my name is Kevin. Call me Deacon on the street. Deacon, where are you from? I'm from New Jersey. All right, where do you live now? Pula, 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 so you're local? Yes. Step over here. Okay, good. How long have you been riding the motorcycle? I've been riding for six years. How long have you been practicing slow speed riding? Uh, well, it's been a while. Okay. Well, when I came to your class the first time, it was, uh, I think it was episode 13. Mm -hmm. And uh, we practice off and on. Hold up. Don't tell me. Today is practice session number 53. Don't tell me the last time you practiced was episode 13. <laughs> that ain't the last time, but I don't practice as much. Okay, okay. Uh, and since uh, last week I had a uh, fall because I didn't keep it loaded. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm here again. And that's what, see, listen, that's key what he just said because sometimes people will come out and practice and say, all right, that's, that was cool, and figure they don't need to keep doing it. And then, and I already told him what he did. That was just a brain fart, not a big deal. But if that makes him go, you know what, he just got a brand new bike. I need to go out and practice. Remember, guys, if you practice, it should be because you want to be safe. But I don't care why you do it. If your motivation is you don't want to mess up your bike, then have at it. Okay, what are you riding today? I'm riding a 2022 uh, Indian Pursuit. And it's beautiful. It's a beautiful bike, beautiful bike. He let me ride it. Not out here, but he let me ride it on my block. And why are you here today? I'm here to get better. There we go. Make sure I'm fall again. All right, man. All right, thank you. We're not, we're not going to guarantee that, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the best, how would you rate your slow speed skills? I'd say a 3. All right. What's your names? Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Finesse. Okay, Mr. <laughs> and Mrs. Finesse. And um, if you guys didn't watch practice session number 52, Mrs. Finesse was like, I'll be back. And I said to her, all right, we'll see. I hear that all the time. Woman of her word, here she is. Here we are. That's right. <laughs> um, how long have you guys been riding? Like really riding? Like really riding a motorcycle? Probably two months for me. Okay. Been off and on since for like 20 years? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, good. Three or four. Um, what are you guys riding today? So I've got my 2022 Indian Super Chief Limited. Mm -hmm. And I have an Indian Challenger, Dark Horse. Okay, so it's the Indian family. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Okay. How long have you been practicing slow speed riding, Chris? So I started slow speed riding when I started riding my bike. Okay, good. Um, so I've been doing it for two months. Yep. You? Uh, so since, what, about four months ago? Mm -hmm. I think it was, it was. It was like around four yeah. months ago. Okay, and Finesse, has, Finesse the Challenger, Mrs. Finesse, but that's his YouTube channel. Check out his YouTube channel. It's Indian Motorcycle 
specific, right? That's the main purpose of that. Finesse the Challenger. That's he it. rides the Challenger. So if you have an Indian um, or you're thinking about buying an Indian, definitely check out his channel. And if you're around here, he's going to come talk to you. He's, trust me, he's dying to see you because it's like a diamond <laughs> in the rough to see somebody riding an Indian. <laughs> see, that's not the case. That's not the case. Matter I just of, like the way they look. They're beautiful bikes. Well, yeah, I'm not going to deny that. They're nice bikes. They're nice looking bikes. Uh, check out the video they just did too. They finally got Custom Dynamics Magic Stroves on the back of both their motorcycles. Yeah. And the funniest part of that video is he took the catalog out. The catalog was that thin. <laughs> and he was like, woo, we got 50 cents. <laughs> 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 All right, good to see you guys again. We're going to get at it. On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the best, how would you rate your slow speed skills? Uh, confident too. Four and a half. Four and a half. Four and a half. Here we go. That's what you said. Four, 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 he went up before. Didn't you say four before? What's your name? Andy. Andy, where are you from? Asheville, North Carolina. Andy, what, how long have you been riding a motorcycle? Seven and a half years. How long have you been practicing slow speed? For like the last year and a half or so. I did some other stuff, but like the last year and a half. What are you riding today? The oldest bike here, I think, an 09 Road King. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so listen, that doesn't matter because you ride it very well and you guys are going to see. This guy, he is a testament. Him and Finesse, as a matter of fact. Uh, to, and Joel. A testament to what practice does. does. You'll see. Anyway, why are you here today? Are you going to write some prescriptions? I am here because if you don't <laughs> keep coming and you don't keep practicing, as it's been said many times, it's a perishable skill. That's right. It is. On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the best, how would you rate your slow speed skills? I'm sticking with 7. All right. Good. All right, guys. 1 through 9 and a bonus. The maze. Uh, the bonus is the maze. Follow the leader and the slow ride. Let's do it. All right, guys, welcome to practice session number 53. 53. I'm looking at I'm looking at Steve. He's got his gloves on. He's like, enough of this small talk about baseball. I'm here to ride this motorcycle. I want to learn. Everybody know the, the, the C word for preloader nation? Anyone? Bueller? Cover. Cover? See, you're going back to the military days. No. <laughs> the C word for preloader nation is confidence, right? Oh, wait, oh, there's another C word for preloader nation. Consistency. And lastly, control. Right? These are the three C's of preloader nation. And that last one, that's the goal today. I want us to be in control all day. So the reason why most motorcycle riders are intimidated by their motorcycles, is obviously it's not when the motorcycle's on the highway, because somebody just sent me a video recently where a guy fell off of his motorcycle. This was on a race, racetrack, sport bike. He fell off the bike. The bike fell, hit the ground. But clearly it was still under power. Picked right back up and kept going. So with speed, the motorcycle doesn't need you. So yeah, we all feel good there. But the reason we don't like the way it feels when it slows down is because then we start feeling like we're not in control. And not being in control of pretty much anything doesn't feel good. Especially something where you feel like you're going to hurt yourself. So when we feel that feeling of, uh-oh, this bike feels like it's going to fall because today we're only going to be going between 1 and 10 miles per hour in an exercise. I'm not talking about when you're riding around. When you feel like you're not in control, what's the answer, um, Steve? Slow down. Slow down. No, we're already going slow. One to 10 miles per hour. Now, Chris said speed up. I'm glad she said that because I want you guys to understand that the answer out here is not speed. It's power. As long as you're providing power to the rear wheel, which could equal speed as well, but I don't want you to think speed because speed is going to take you out wide if you're in a tight exercise. Power, that's all you need. So that's why when we're doing exercise number four, where you're going very slow, exercise number four, as soon as you feel a motorcycle feel like it's going to fall because you're barely moving, a little bit of power is just going to stand it up. If you feel like it's going to fall, a little bit of power. So the goal is for you not to be injured out here today, of course. That's the number one goal is not being injured. And the number one way people get injured is putting their feet down when this motorcycle feels like it's going to fall. The answer to putting your foot down is not putting your foot down because that's how you're going to get hurt. Open up the clutch, go back into the friction zone. So, you know, let's go over this real quick. Now, I know this is your second time here. It's probably your fifth time, plus the time you came and loitered or just jumped in. Um, you've been here before. You've been here a bunch of times. So I know a lot of you guys are like, listen, Rob, I've, come on, I've heard all this. Let's get to it. But no, we got to always have to go through it because we've got people new here. Plus, there's always somebody in Preloader Nation that are like, I don't know who the hell these people are. So they appreciate meeting you. All right, so for today, guys, 
um, we're going to follow five steps all day. Now, I got to say this, man, because I forgot about it. I'm watching practice session number 52. We're doing exercise number one, where you're supposed to ride up and stop. And Chris, I still don't know what the hell happened. She rolled right past me. She never stopped. And I burst out laughing watching this because I forgot that it happened. I can't wait for you to go home and watch this stuff. But guys, practice session 52, watch exercise number one. That's just some, that's some funny stuff. Because watching the video, I'm looking at her face. She just looked, she definitely had the head and eyes in the right place. Straight ahead. All right. All right. So before I get to the five steps, yes, head and eyes. Make sure your head and eyes today are straight ahead. Okay. And if you're making a turn, head and eyes and then your handlebars, all right? Head and eyes and then your handlebars. I'll talk about that more when we get to it. The first four exercises that we're doing today, um, actually, I'm gonna say the first five because we're gonna do a warm up. In my opinion, these are the most important fundamental exercises to learn to be comfortable on your motorcycle going slow, all right? No leaning required. Everything we're doing, we're gonna be straight up, all right? All right. Step number one, what's always step number one in everything that we do on our motorcycles before we move, and I would prefer that you guys do this all of the time, even when you're not here. Steve, I'm gonna keep coming to you because uh, six months. Cover the rear brake. Mm -hmm. Make sure you're in first gear. Make sure the motorcycle's in first gear. Always, always step number one. So important, not being in the right gear, especially if you decide to do something like, Finesse, I gotta tell you too, man, with these new handlebars, the last practice session, man, man, you look badass, man, the yes. shades, Look badass. There you go. <laughs> but if, if Finesse decides to do one of these turns, like exercise number four, where he's just going to let the motorcycle fall a little bit and then open up the clutch, if he's in the wrong gear, he's probably going to fall, right? Probably. So make sure the motorcycle's in first gear. Step number two. Steve. Cover the rear brake. Cover the rear brake. And we're covering the rear brake. That means we're resting our foot on the brake. It's not necessarily applying pressure. You're not going to see the brake lights come on. But we do that because, again, we're talking about control. So today, guys, I want you to take your egos, throw them in that pond. We're here to learn, all right? So um, there's no macho-ness out here. There's, nobody's going to make fun of you or laugh. We're here to help each other. It's an each one teach one environment. So if you know something, please, by all means, share it. Not just with each other, me too. I learned so much from you guys, so much, all right? Um, because there's a million ways to do everything. Right, and the beauty of that is just like working out in the gym. There's a sh crap load of exercises to do for your biceps. You're gonna pick the ones that work best for you, right? Same thing out here. Now, if there's something that you normally do on your motorcycle, and you say it works for you, if it works for you, fine. It doesn't mean I'm not gonna introduce something else to you and say, here, try this out because it might be better. It's not always about right or wrong. Sometimes it's about what's better, what's best. Okay? All right. Exercise number. I'm sorry. Step number three. Finesse. Close enough, but not so much. Andy. Preload. That's right, Doc. Preload <laughs> and keep it loaded. I'm going to call you Doc all day, man. Preload and keep it loaded. So important specifically to keep it loaded. So last time Chris was out here, like a lot of people, especially in exercise number three because you're thinking so much about it, but we preload our throttle, and then when it's time to do the next thing, we forget about it, and then it goes down when that's when it's most important when we're going to start moving, right? So what I want you guys to do today, now, Chris, your motorcycle's a little quiet. Actually, yours is too. Um, yours too, definitely or not. And I don't know about this. This is not, but anyway, it doesn't matter how loud it is. You can hear it. I want you to please, please focus on how it sounds. Don't try to focus on keeping your hand in a certain position. Just listen to the motorcycle. You can hear if it's too low. If you don't hear it, that just means you're not concentrating. You're, you're thinking about other stuff. You should also be able to hear if it's way too high, right? And that's, like I said before, if your motorcycle was on an EKG, we, don't, we want to almost flatline, right? We don't want it going like this, because that means it's too low. And our motorcycles will actually, sh you can hear it's too low and you can feel it because the engine will start going, right? Like I said before, the Hollies, they're shaking to begin with, but it's going to shake even more, right? Okay. Step number four, finesse. Uh, release the clutch. Mm. Yes, friction. slowly release the clutch into the friction zone. Joel's over there like, mm. I can already see Joel's going to be one of those guys. <laughs> slowly release the clutch into the friction zone. Remember, guys, we're ballet dancing out here today. Or we're slow dancing. You two with each other. Us alone. <laughs> right? 
because that's the way this has to be, right? Everything we do on the motorcycle today is subtle, right? Nothing herky-jerky. We shouldn't be jamming at our brakes. We damn sure shouldn't be squeezing the front brake. We know that's a 10 push-up penalty, right? Andy already said, I'm going to see how many push-ups I don't do today. Andy's full of crap. <laughs> Andy's much better. But I said it earlier. I'll say it again. Um, that's why I'm really looking forward for you to watch the, the video. I love to see the progression. You know, and, and again, the goal today is to get better. I don't care if the, even if the, the better is just a better understanding of what to do. That's progress. All right. Lastly, step number five. Steve. Look where you're going. Look where you want to go. That's good, good advice, but not the first five steps. Help him out, Joel. Anything. Oh, you did. Well, pick your foot up. That's right. As soon as the motorcycle, as soon as the motorcycle starts to move, pick up your left foot. Yeah, yeah, it is. Because all of a sudden, Joe. Uh, uh, <laughs> Where we at again? It's almost like when I do dictation on my phone. Sometimes I freeze up. Like uh, uh, there's a lot of pressure. All right. So as soon as it starts to move, pick up your foot. Now part of this is like trust and believe. All right. We're not duck walking today. All right, guys. We're not duck walking. All right, anybody, and I'm talking about we're not duck walking with one feet or two. As soon as it starts to move, get that foot up, okay? Don't worry about it. Everything's going to be okay. I have a problem, yeah. You have a problem? What's the problem? I, I like the floor. Oh, okay, well. <laughs> I like to know where it is. That guy, sure that's actually, no, I watched the video. That's not true. That is not true. You did good. You did very well. All right, guys, so any questions? Go ahead. My question, you're talking about the front brake. Can't use it at all. You talking about? You can use the front brake if we're going. If like if you decide to ride to the next exercise and you're going 20 miles an hour, yeah. Or when we do exercise number one, where I tell you to ride to me and go up to second gear, when you initially start stopping, yeah, you should be on the front brake because um, there's no the front brake is your stopping power. That's what's really going to stop your motorcycle. Your rear brake is nothing compared to that front brake. So I'm glad you asked that question. Um. The whole using the front brake when you're stopping, right? A YouTuber, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to name his name, but he put out a video saying to come to a smooth stop, stop with the front brake and put both your feet down. Now, I already said there's a million ways to do everything, but you can't title that video, here's how to come to a smooth stop. It's very difficult to come to a smooth stop because that's a lot of stopping power, right? Secondly, I've already explained to you guys in the past, I'll say it again, if you want to come to a smooth stop, and I did a video on this. How are we going to make sure this motorcycle stays true? How are we going to help that, Chris? If you ever feel like it's, you're coming to a stop and you start doing that, how are you going to help that? Keep the power. That's right. Go back into the friction zone. The friction zone is always going to make... So we understand that these motorcycles under power, they want to stand up, they want to go straight. All right. So as long as we understand that, we know that if we feel something like that, we know this is going to do that. Right? Much like a rear-wheel drive car. If a rear-wheel drive car is going around a turn and the ass of the car starts to slide out, People that don't know any better panic and hit the brake. And now it's just going to keep sliding. When really all you have to do is tap the gas. It's always going to correct it. It's sliding, tap the gas. It's the same concept with your motorcycle. If it's falling, gas is going to pick it straight up. So when you're coming to a stop, if you're going back into the friction zone while using the rear brake at the same time, how are you going to keep it loaded and be, see what I mean? It's showing you by the design. It's not how you're supposed to stop. You can't grab the front brake and manipulate the throttle smoothly, right? Rear brake. Only. So when you're coming to a stop, good question, front brake, front brake, front brake, right before you're going to stop, transition, get off that front brake, rear brake only. And listen, again, the reason why we focus on this so much is because we practice for uh-oh. When uh-oh happens, we also practice to gain muscle memory. If you don't have that, like, like uh, who was I talking to? Joel? The guy, yeah, the guy, I've been riding 22 years, I don't need, uh, 25 years, I don't need to, this never happened to me. Yes, but when it does happen, if you don't have that muscle memory, you're going to do like everybody else. Panic, grab, go down, most likely. Okay? Does that answer your question? Yeah. Okay, good. Any other questions? Beautiful. All right, warm-up exercise, short starts and stops. Nice and easy. Follow the steps. Good. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. So much better at this, man. Wow. The last practice session we did, I told him slow down a little bit. Now, he's constantly, constantly getting better. Constantly. 
All right, you're good, man. You can go far. Wow. All right, first gear. Cover the rear brake. Very good. You're fine. Stop right here. Head and eyes. Look at my camera. Why does it keep doing that? I was going to ask you that too because in the video it kept happening. It's very weird. <laughs> it wasn't bad. Alright, just, just transition to this side. We'll do it on this side. Alright, make sure you cover in that rear brake. Okay, that's good. Record it. <laughs> Head and eyes, straight ahead, preload, rear brake. Try it again. Come to this cone. So you're not going far at all. Keep it loaded. You know how low your throttle is? That's part of the problem. Preload. Because again, when you're, when you're moving, Chris, you're moving under power the whole time. So that's why I don't want you to go fast and coast. Pull off nice and easy. Slowly release that clutch, but you're keeping it loaded. So when you feel it starting to move, you're good. Rear brake. Just use the rear brake. Good. Keep it loaded. You're nice and easy. Nice and easy. I right, go around. Do it again. Andy here. Good. Nice. Nice preload. All right, one more time, Andy. All right, give me another one. That I want you to come to a smooth stop. That one, you locked up the rear wheel. Nice and easy. Yeah. At the last minute. All right, we're going to work on that. I want you to, you, if you look, your front suspension is compressing a lot. That's an indication that you're braking hard. Try one more time. Nice and smooth. Brake, brake, brake. Also, I'm noticing that you're, you're hovering your foot off of the brake. You can rest it on the brake. It's not applying it. That way, when you're ready for it, you're not going to smash it. All right, you can park. Good job. We got Joel. First cone. Nice. Next cone. Nice. One more time. All right, this time when you stop, I want you to act like you got a passenger on the back and her helmet is this close to you and you don't want her helmet to hit yours. Nice, smooth, easy stop. Okay, much better. All right, good job. You can park. All right, man, show them how it's done. Stop at this cone. Good, stop at this cone. Head and eyes, look at my camera. All right, I want your front wheel at the cone, not past it, and I want you to start off slower, right? Not too fast. Right here. Good, good. Nice, much better. Make sure you start on the rear brake. That way you won't be going too fast. Right here. Good, remember, keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. All right, good, one more. All right, you can park. I want them to keep the motorcycle in the friction zone up until when they stop. I don't want them to coast. You don't always need to do that, but I want you to get in the habit of doing it, so if you feel it, good. Very nice. Six months riding. Nice. One more. Six months, baby. Good job. Stopping like a champ. You look familiar. All right. Start off nice and easy. Preload, keep it loaded. Good. Slowly release that clutch. Keep it loaded. 
Nice and easy. Okay, so I see what happened there. You took off and then when it was time to stop, I saw your foot do that. Start off already on the rear brake. That's gonna help you keep your speed down. All right? Obviously not so much that you can't move, but like I said, just like if you're trying to creep your car. Same thing. Drag the rear brake. Preload, keep it loaded. Drag it, drag it, drag it. Oh, much better. Do that again. Rear brake, rear brake. All right, try it again. You're still, you're still taking off like this. Nice and easy. Preload. Rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. One more time. Give me some more rear brake on the start. So you're not jetting out. All right, you can pull. All right, so we're gonna work on that. You know, she's going through the same thing most people go through. One to 10 miles per hour, most motorcycle riders, they don't like that feeling, very uncomfortable. Let's talk about it. All right, so, a couple of you guys, it was uh, Chris, uh, Kevin, Steven. no, not Steven, Kevin, <laughs> see, I finally know everybody's name, don't mess me up, Steve, <laughs> um, and, and Joel, too, stopping, I'm talking about, All right, when you stop this motorcycle, especially in that exercise, that exercise is preparing you for, it's so, that exercise is so telling, it's preparing you for a lot of stuff out here, it's showing me that you can be comfortable just riding that short distance and stopping, now, Chris, she was kind of having that abrupt speed because, again, most motorcycle riders, 1 to 10 miles per hour, they don't like that. So they, how do you deal with that? You duck walk. Or if you say, if somebody told you, hey, we're not duck walking today, then you would introduce speed. Now, remember, we preload the throttle and keep it loaded and slowly release the clutch into the friction zone. So if you slowly release it, you don't have any choice but to start off slow. But if you pop it out, yeah, it's going to start out a little bit more abruptly. But that's why we're covering the rear brake. If you feel that, matter of fact, Finesse did that the last practice session in the uh, figure eight where he was going too fast. His, his, now, I've ridden his motorcycle. The clutch is kind of, you know, you got to get used to it. So there's times where he could be right here and all of a sudden it'll pop. And that happened to him in the lean. Or he did rear brake, kept it loaded. He was fine. And this is in the lean. That's why we want to make sure we take care of that going straight. Because if you, if, you, if you have the presence of mind to do it straight up, you, you're going to do it when you're in the lean as well. All right? So that's the taking off. When you're stopping, again, it's not a surprise when it's a stop. You know you're coming to a stop. You ever try to practice making your car come to a stop where when it stops, it doesn't do this? I do that every now and then. Nice smooth stop where nobody in the car even moves. That's kind of what I want you to do here. Your front suspension shouldn't do this in that exercise. That means you're braking too hard. And I saw Andy had his foot hovering over the rear brake. You can put your foot on it and rest it. If you hover your foot over it, then when you go for it, you're probably going to press too hard. All right? And lastly, now Chris at one point was riding, and she's coming to a stop, and her motorcycle starts going like this, and her feet are like that. Now, that's one of those instances where, now some of you guys, Kevin, you were doing this. You would come to a stop. I hear the preload's gone, and you're just coasting to a stop. That's fine because sometimes that's all you need to do. The balance works out. But when you get into a situation like Chris was feeling like, uh oh, what do we do? Go back into the friction zone. So, Chris, whenever you feel like I don't like the way this feels, trust me, go back into the friction zone. Listen to your throttle and use. if you've got to use more to rear brake to slow down, use more to rear brake. All right. Everybody knows what I'm talking about when I say go back into the friction zone. Right. So when you go back and watch this, you'll hear your throttle. But if I if I'm coming to a stop. I like, I can talk over this nice and easy, nice and quiet. Coming to a stop, preload, preload, preload. Then I get out of it. That way, because right there I did feel it. I felt like it was, was going to start going like this. If I don't want to feel that, if I want to make sure I'm straight, right? We also want to always keep our eyes on the, the ground, of course, right? The reason I also want you guys to come, the reason I also want you guys to come to a smooth stop is if you put your foot down like this 
If there's sand there, you're gonna slip. So we should always be paying attention to what the hell's going on, but sometimes you're riding on a surface where the ground is not clear, is sand, gravel. This is when stopping comes in, stopping easy comes in handy too because you damn sure don't have, can't be doing this, can't be doing any of that. All right, any questions? All right, now I'm not gonna forget any exercises now, we're gonna go in order. Next exercise is exercise number one, starting and stopping. Combination of what you guys were doing here, but now we're gonna get some speed. All right, it's not emergency braking, you don't have to fly up to me and come to an abrupt stop, no. But you do, I do want you to stop, Chris. All right, so. <laughs> <laughs> so ride to me and you guys are going to see that I'm going to be doing stuff you're going to see over and over what we did there is going to keep coming into play ride to me second go up to second gear downshift you can use the front brake right before you get to me it could be right before you stop rear brake only come to a smooth stop then follow the first five steps preload and keep loaded now when we were doing this exercise right here Everybody's waiting in line. Chris. <laughs> Chris is like this. Why, Chris, why are you in neutral? I have no idea. Exactly. So I say a lot of the times with motorcycle riders, we deal with, uh, we deal with two things. Complacency and laziness. Laziness is I'm going to put the bike in neutral because I don't feel like holding the clutch. When you have to realize, I want you to get in the habit of thinking like this. When we do follow the leader, Every time we do exercise number four and I make that turn and I stop, I stop there because my camera is still recording the rest of the people. And I'm, I'm sitting there in gear, motorcycle in first gear, covering the rear brake. Because every now and then somebody makes that turn and they get stuck in the turn and they're going to be coming right at me. And that happened last, boom, I can just go right out. If I'm in neutral, I'm just going to get hit. All right? So I want you to be in the habit of out here especially, don't, don't be in neutral. Be in gear, covering the rear brake, ready to go. Right? Oh, this clutch is so easy too. Re yes, really at a light. That's what Andy said. Definitely important at a light because people on their cell phones or whatever, car rear ending you. The point is, you need to always be thinking about that's where the complacency part comes in. We just think, hey, everything's okay. I can just sit here and chill. You can't, you don't have that luxury on the motorcycle. You just don't. We don't have airbags. We don't have crumple zones. We're the crumple zone, right? <laughs> so we don't want to get hit. All right? All right, let's do it. All right, guys, exercise number one. Stops and starts. Uh oh, the daredevil, it's Andy, or the doctor, I should say. Nice, park right here. Everybody All right, listen to Joel it. raise his throttle right before he stops to ensure that he comes to a smooth stop. Outstanding. All right, here comes Chris. Let's see if she's gonna stop this time. <laughs> She blew a stop sign last practice session 52 hours. Oh, it was so funny. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Now you see when she took off, it's still that abrupt takeoff. We're going to work on that though. You need to do a video, man. Excellent. Excellent. Got Kevin here. Ah, oh, man. That pursuit looks nice, man. Very nice, man. Good park. Last but not least, we got Steve. Ah, see, Steve is slick. I can't see if he's on the front brake. He got guards here. <laughs> All right, good job. You can park. All right. Now, right there, Steve took off. Eh, we'll talk about it. All right, good job. We only had to do that once. So, Steve, remember, today we are in a training environment. That's the mindset we have to have. What do I mean by that? Chris, your bike's on. That means that we're going to do, even if it's not something we need to do, we're going to do it anyway because that's how we gain muscle memory. So Steve, when you took off right here, you didn't follow the first five steps. Step number five, I'm sorry, step number two is cover the rear brake. You just took off. Because, why do I have to take, why do I have to cover the rear brake? If I'm at a red light, the light turns green, 
Nothing's in front of me. I'm just going to go. No, it's not something you need to do. Something I want you to do today, right? Yeah. Just to gain that muscle memory, all right? Now, some of us, we really don't need to do that. We have the muscle memory. We're going to do what we need to do when the situation dictates that we need to do it. But just humor me today, all right? Yeah. All right. Very good. Exercise number two. Okay, now I'm not skipping it. The slow ride, okay? The slow ride is first exercise, the warm-up, and now this exercise. You can do this anywhere while you're riding, right? If you're in traffic, if you're approaching a red light. The only purpose of this exercise is I want you to be comfortable going nice and slow, right? Now, Chris, when you took off here, you took off again like this. <sighs> All right. Again, nothing in front of her. What's the big deal? Again, we're in a training environment. Because she sees I'm having an issue taking off easy every time she takes off on her motorcycle today, she should be concentrating on doing it smoothly. Because when we get to exercise number four, where she has to, she's got to make a right turn, 90 degree left turn. Now we don't have that. We can't do that speed thing. So all of this stuff, I tell you guys all the time, all of these exercises build on one another. One, warm up one, two, and three, and four. Those are your fundamentals as far as I'm concerned to being comfortable at slow speeds. So what you guys are going to do, you're going to go down there again. I'm going to wave you to me. You're going to ride to me and stop. Not slow ride. Ride to me and stop. All I'm doing is reinforcing what we've done. Then we're going to do a slow ride. I'm going to walk. You're going to ride. Stay at my walking pace. Don't ride faster than I'm walking. All right? Keep your head and your eyes straight ahead. Listen to your throttle. All right? If you even need to in this exercise. Now, I'm telling you, that's how I do it. But you can go in and out of the friction zone if you want. Right? Some people will do that. They'll never touch the rear brake. They'll give the, open the clutch, let the bike move, pull it back in. Let the coin roll across the table until it starts to waver. Clutch, again. Or you can drag the rear brake the whole time. And that's what I was telling Chris to do. So if you have a problem taking off smoothly and the whole clutch control thing, you're not, you're not liking that, then there's another option. Start off on the rear brake already, applying pressure, right? Just like if you're in your car and you want the car to move forward, you let your foot off a little bit, the car's going to move. Automatic transmission car, right? We don't have automatic transmissions. We have a friction zone. So same concept. Keep your foot on the brake, but not so much so that when you open up your clutch, it doesn't move. And that way it's going to ensure... Uh, even if you don't like the way it feels, just trust and believe you're going to be okay. We'll get, to, we'll get to trust and believe. Any questions? All right. All right, guys. Exercise number two, slow ride. Got the doctor going first. Beautiful. You ready, doc? All right, let's do it. You can rest your foot on the brake, Andy. It's not, you don't have to apply. You can rest it. All right, you're good. Get off. Hey, Andy. Never mind. I'm sorry. You can park. All right, you ready? Let's do it. I thought that was your horn. <laughs> All right, good job. Texas, baby. Texas is in the house. Very good. All right, ready? Yep. Let's do it. Excellent, Steve. Excellent. Good park. Six months, people. Let's do it. Excellent. Good park. All right, you ready? Let's do it. Good. Slow down, slow down. Slow down, keep it loaded. Good job, good ball. 
Last but not least, we got Chris here. Nice takeoff. Foot came up nice and smooth. All right, ready? All right, let's do it. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. You heard that preload go down? That's right, listen to that engine. Concentrate on keeping it steady. Open the clutch. Good, rear brake, rear brake. Good, keep it loaded, slow down. Keep it loaded, good, 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 good. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Do it again, do it again. I'm gonna have her do it again. I just wanted to be comfortable with it. So the first time she started, her foot's hovering over the rear brake. I want the foot on the rear brake. And if necessary, drag it. Make sure we're controlling that speed. Nice stop. So when you started the last time, we, are, we heard the RPMs go down, but also you had your foot hovering over the rear brake. Just keep your foot on it. Right? You're, you're okay, keep your foot on it. All right, let's do it again. And keep it loaded. She's gotta put the GPS on so she doesn't look at it. <laughs> Whatever works for you. Good, keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Slow down. Good, listen to that throttle. Remember, we need power, not speed. All right, you can park. And that's one of the easy ones to practice on because you can practice it anywhere. All right, let's talk about it. Good job. So what I was talking to Chris about was um, the first time she started, she actually had her foot off the brake. And then she put her foot on it. I said, start with it on the brake. So what's happening, Chris, is when you first start out, immediately you don't like the way it feels. But what's also happening is your, your preload is down. So whenever the preload's down, the motorcycle wants to fall. The only thing keeping it up is the preload at that speed. So let's just keep that in mind. Any questions on the slow ride? Right? Okay, good. Exercise number three, everybody's favorite. Chris says she's going first, so she can go first. The Pan America is not smooth. Steve is smooth. <laughs> I like that. Six months. All right, so I talk about this all the time. Trust and believe this exercise is so important because this is the exercise that's going to truly know, or actually truly prove your bike's on. If you truly trust and believe. Finesse, do you trust and believe that as long as you have... I ain't even finished the question. You say, yes, I do, because you've been here before. <laughs> Steve, do you trust and believe that as long as you are providing sufficient power to the rear wheel that you're going to be okay? I trust and believe it intellectually. Oh, my God. I like this guy. I like Steve. Now, Steve did say he was a geek. That's a geeky answer, and it's a beautiful answer because it's the actual, it's the, it's the, it's the actual answer that people should be saying. He understands that, that, yeah, that's the way it's supposed to be, but does he actually trust it? No, that's why we're practicing. And that's a true, it's a, it's a, it's a genuine answer because if you don't build up the muscle memory, of course you're not going to practice it. We talked earlier about not liking the feeling of feeling out of control. Falling is always a feeling of not being in control. So I, somebody asked me, when is this feeling of falling? How much do I have to practice to get that feeling to go away? I said, the answer is never. It's never going to go away, but what's going to change is your reaction to the feeling. You're not going to put your foot out in panic. I'm not saying your heart rate is still not going to go up, but you're, you're just going to do this. And you're going to feel so much better when, you, when the motorcycle does that. All right? So Chris, just, just keep that in mind. That's going to make you feel better. We're in a controlled environment. There's nothing for you to hit except the Challenger. Nothing else for you to hit. So don't worry about that. Trust and believe that exercise, I wanted you to go slow enough. Like I often say, if you can keep the wheel straight, you're going too fast. And a lot of times I'll say, um, uh, preload, preload. And you guys think that means go faster. No, I'm just saying your throttle is too low. Remember, we want to get in the habit of listening to that throttle and being able to recognize, whoa, that's low. Let me bring it back up. Because again, not a big deal here. Maybe a big deal out there. All right, but, in, and if you felt, uh-oh, 
the answer was to just do that. That's what that exercise is for. This is taking it up eh, a little bit of a notch, but not really, because now we're not moving at all. Okay, not at all. All right, and we're going to have to trust and believe. And when I say that, I mean trust and believe. Step number one, make sure the motorcycle is in first gear. There's going to be a difference in step number four here. Step number two, Chris? Cover the rear brake, and we're going to be on that rear brake. Step number three, preload, and keep it loaded. And keep, I think I'm going to change that phrase to, and keep it loaded, then preload. Doesn't make sense, but I, I'm trying to emphasize how important the and keep it loaded is, right? Now, step number four, we're not slowly releasing the clutch. We're going to put the clutch right before the start of the friction zone, right? And we're doing that because step number five, I want you to pick up your left foot, but I don't want the motorcycle moving at all. Not a millimeter. Trust and believe, right? The word C, control. You're in control of the bike. So if I say you're moving, you're clearly not really paying attention. You should know that your bike is moving and do what you need to do to correct it. Use the rear brake, right? When you feel the motorcycle starting to fall, right? This is not pick up your, your foot and just go. I need you to feel it. That's the only way we're gonna reprogram your brain to associate falling with this, not this, right? When you feel it, open the clutch, you'll be fine. You're already preloaded. If you need to add some throttle, it makes you feel more comfortable, add the throttle. Not a big deal. But here's the important part also. Once you do that, I want you to come to a controlled stop. Right? This is kind of what Joel and I were talking about, of being in the lean and coming to a stop. I don't want you to just do this and fly out. I want you to be able to come to a controlled stop. Right? Not an emergency stop. I don't want you to stop like this. Nice and easy, just like we were doing in the warm-up. All right? I'll demonstrate it, and then we'll go. Yes, high side, even on the sport bike. Because it's actually even harder to put my leg around this thing because it's higher. Now, my hips don't like that. All right? First gear. Check, cover the rear brake. I can find neutral so easy on this. I'm not accustomed to that. Harley Davidson. <laughs> Preload, keep it loaded. That's all I need. Sweet spot, there it is. As soon as I feel it, pull up. Now remember guys, I don't want you in the friction zone while you're holding the rear brake and the back of your motorcycle is moving down like that. No, right before the friction zone. All right, and then I'm just gonna pick up my foot. Come to a smooth stop. Right? If the motorcycle starts to fall to the right, it's just going to go to the right. Throttle, stop. Any questions? All right, see these two cones? I want you guys, and again, I do this purposely too. I have you park here so that when you do exercise number three, I want you to approach exercise number three from this direction and make a left turn and be right at those cones. So we're already getting warmed up for exercise number four. But make sure when you come to a stop, you stop with your handlebars straight. Don't stop with your handlebars turned, because your motorcycle is going to want to fall. How do we make sure we stop straight? Remember that talk I had to you about coming to a smooth stop? Friction zone. If you try to come to a straight stop without power to your rear wheel, that ain't going to happen. It's going to fall. You're going too slow. Friction zone, remember, we don't need speed, we just need power. All right, Chris. Straighten out. All right, looking good. Just make sure we come straight. All right, you know what you're doing? First gear. Cover the rear brake, reload, keep it loaded. Head and eyes, look at my camera. Clutch right before the friction zone, right before it. Listen to that engine, Chris, and try to keep it steady. Nope, you're moving, good, all right. When you're ready, pick up your foot. And then open up the, let it, oh, oh, you were good. So right there, you just changed that to the GPS. You're so funny. What? You changed it to the GPS. It's so funny. I didn't even see you do it. <laughs> right there, when you picked up your foot uh -huh. and you go, oh crap, and you put it back down. Yeah. Instead of putting it back down, just, just do that. That's all. I'm holding the bike. That's what I'm doing back here. So don't worry about that. Give me some more preload. Good. Keep it right there. Nope. See, it went down. 
Listen to that engine. Listen to it. Listen to it. Pick up your foot. Listen to it. Try to keep it like that. You're good. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. All right. Now you heard your throttle go down, right? All right. That's the only reason that happened. I'm going to hold the bags. I was holding that pillion. The whole thing almost came off. Don't move. Don't move. You're moving. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Here we go. Come to a stop. Nice and easy. Do it again. It wasn't bad. Don't stop with the handlebars turned. All right, make sure you straighten out. All right, so we know what we're doing. We're in the first gear. Of course, you already know. You can see it. Cover the rear brake. Reload. Keep it loaded. Clutch right before the friction zone. When you're ready, pick up that foot. Keep it loaded. No, you're moving. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Good. Keep it right there. Listen to your engine. Keep it loaded. No, nope, you're moving. Keep it loaded. Let it out, let it out, let it out. All right, try it again. So what's happening is you're not keeping it loaded. I can feel it. On, I got my hands on your motorcycle. You're letting your throttle get low and it's shaking. Keep it, keep it right there. Keep it there. Concentrate on that sound. Cover the rear brake. Keep that sound right there. When you're ready, pick up that foot. Trust and believe. Keep it loaded. Let it out, let it out. Don't pop it out. Let it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you kept it loaded, that wouldn't even have been the problem. You just would have went that way. This bike ain't going to do a wheelie. Keep it loaded. Cover the rear brake. And don't forget to come to a smooth stop. Let it out, let it out. Come to a smooth stop. All right, good. Do it again. Yeah, if you pop the clutch out, it's not a huge deal. He's not doing a wheelie on that. But, you know, you got to keep control. There we go. Stop with the handlebar straight. All right, Andy, show him how it's done. Ah, there you go. <laughs> done ride every day enjoy. and enjoy it you're gonna enjoy way more if you know what you're doing Woo! that's what I'm talking about I learned my lesson don't stand behind tab performance nice you got the concept all right, let's do it. Oh, it's like I'm downhill. Well, that's why you're covering that rear brake. Make sure it don't move. I know, I saw. <laughs> All right, we don't want to stop like that. Make sure you straighten out. And when you're making that turn, you should be looking that way. You're like this when you're making the turn, but we're going to work on it. All right. All right, you ready? Oh, I like this. So you got handles on here. So just so, so you know, I'm going to be holding on to the bike. Okay. Um, first gear. First gear. Covering the rear brake. Rear brake. Reload. Reload. Keep it loaded. Listen to the engine and listen to, concentrate on keeping it. Give me some more. Keep it right there. It's clutch right before the friction zone, right before it. And when you're ready, pick up that foot. Listen to your engine. Keep it steady. Let it out. Up, see? And that's perfect. See that feeling you just had? And your instinct was to go like that. When right. Just open up your hand. That's all. all right. Give me some more preload. Good. Keep it right there. Let it out. Let it out. Good, good, good. Come to a stop. Nice. Do it again.
you're just gonna keep testing this, huh? So close. So when you come, when you make this turn, just try to make it more of a 90 degree angle instead of an angle. And that way you can be, you'll be straight already. All right, let's do that again. Good, keep it right there. Just listen to that sound. A little too high, too high. All right, good. Nope, too low. Right there. Pick up your foot. Don't let it, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Come to a stop. All right. Now once again, right before she started, the RPMs were way down. Like there was no preload. All right. You're good, you're good, you're good. No, I was still cooking. No, you were, but it's okay. Good, listen to that throttle. Concentrate on keeping it there. Give me more. Good, keep it right there. When you're ready, pick up that foot. Open up the clutch when you feel falling. Good, let it out, let it out. Break. Much better. Head over to exercise number four. Head over there. All right, when you finish here, go over to exercise number four. Beautiful! Nice. Alright, same thing. When you finish, just head over there. And it stop. Good. Good. Straighten out. Straighten out. Good. Remember, you straighten out before that foot comes down. All right. Preload. Good. Keep it right there. Concentrate on that sound. Touch right before the friction zone. When you're ready, pick up that foot. Let it out. 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 Rear brake. All right. All that means is, well, before I tell you, why did that happen? Um, I let it out too fast. Exactly, but what really happened is you didn't keep it loaded. Because remember, if you keep it loaded, it's not going to stall. But if you don't keep it loaded and you pull a clutch, <coughs> yeah. All right, you're good. You can head over there. All right, guys, we're going to move on to exercise number four. Right turns, left turns from a stop. All right, anyway, exercise number four. Good job over there, by the way. All right, um, but again, the biggest thing. Now, Kevin's not here. So a lot of you guys were coming. Kevin was doing it too. Remember, I told you, we're not leaning until the next exercise. But approaching that turn, I mean, approaching that exercise, he was coming in like this, lean. That means he's got speed behind him, right? That makes him feel more comfortable. It's also making him have to do more to come to a stop. So a couple of times, yeah, he almost, because he, he's stopping with the handlebars turn. And Chris, too. So, again, all we have to do to deal with that is friction zone. You're coming to a stop, friction zone, friction zone, friction zone, friction zone, friction zone, then foot. What Kevin was also doing was, as he's pulling up, He's like this. Remember, we keep our feet on the footboards and the pegs until we are stopped coming, like not as we're approaching. We don't need landing gear. That does, right? All right. Exercise number four. That, I swear I didn't time that out, but that was perfect. <laughs> All right. This is right turns, left turns from a stop. Uh, most of you guys are familiar with it. It's the highest failure rate because people don't get comfortable with that. If you get comfortable with the starts and the stops and exercise number two, this is the same thing, the same techniques. When, first time you guys do this, you're going to go straight through. That's exercise number two. The only difference is you're going to turn the handlebars. That's the only difference. Keep that in mind. Turning your handlebars doesn't change anything. All right? Um, then we're going to do it. You're going to come to a stop. I stop at this line. If you're not comfortable there, you can stop further back. I, if you're going to stop further back, I'm not going to allow you to stop further than past this line. Oh, that's ridiculous. Right? You should be okay any place in here. If you don't want to be right in the middle on this line, you can come over here. You know, all, all that's showing you you need to practice more because the more you practice, you're going to, actually, I won't be surprised if some of you guys are up here and you want to start with the handlebars turn. That's fine. I don't care, right? Not necessary, but it's good to know. Okay, there's eight steps to this exercise. The first one is always make sure it's in first gear, cover the rear brake, preload and keep it loaded. Step number four is now 
clutch right before the sweet spot. Step number five is now head and eyes, right? Head and eyes is so important. Even with the horizon when you're going straight, turning. Can I make an 18 foot circle turn, that abominable snowman, and, and do it like this? Can I do that? Bueller? Yes, I can. Because that's not going to, I mean, if somebody's really trying to learn this, it's, yeah, it's going to be more difficult for them. It's more important that they turn their head and their eyes. But what I want to emphasize to you guys is when you hear me saying, head and eyes, head and eyes, yes, it helps with your turn, but it's not vital for your turn. It is vital for your safety, right? Remember, we do head and eyes and then handlebars. So if I make this turn, head and eyes, and I see something coming, is there going to be a handlebars to follow that? No, it's going to be a rear brake because I'm going to stop, right? Or if I go head and eyes, I see a kid coming. I'm not going to go. I see something in the road. I'm not going to go. So that's why head and eyes are so important. You do stuff blindly, you put yourself in jeopardy. So again, guys, I want you to do this straight up, all right? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't finish the steps. Step six, slowly release the clutch into the friction zone. Sounds familiar? Yeah, because we were doing it, slowly. Step seven, as soon as the motorcycle starts to move, pick this foot up, all right? We're not doing this. We're not doing this, none of that. And then step number eight, turn the handlebars. Three things determine the radius of our turn, how fast we're going. We, we shouldn't have a problem with that. How much we lean the motorcycle, we're not doing that anyway. And how much we turn the handlebars. So guys, just so you know, nothing out here is extreme. This is not a motor officer course, right? So you don't have to lean a lot. You don't have to fully lock. But what you do with your motorcycle might introduce that. For instance, the private lesson I had with this guy, he kept pulling this far out before he even started turning the handlebars. So if you're this far in, now you're going to have to lean the motorcycle to make the turn, depending on your motorcycle, right? So, I again, I got these big cones because I don't want you cutting, the cone, cutting this early either. Remember, guys, being the boss of the motorcycle is just knowing what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. What's going on with your motorcycle is going to, you should feel it and know, all right, here's what I need to do based on what I feel. That's what this is all about, all right? Just like the steps I give you guys. Um, obviously, when you start getting proficient in this, you're not going to be going through steps. You're just going to do it. But when you're learning this, sometimes your brain races. What am I forgetting? But if you have steps to follow, it makes the learning process easier, and then it all comes together. All right. Any questions? Could you just repeat those steps one more time, please? Okay. Step number one. What's always step number one? Um, first gear. Two. Cover the rear brake. Three. Friction. Or preload. Preload and keep it loaded. Stop right there. Four. Clutch right before the sweet spot. So four is always dealing with the clutch. All right. And if you want, an easier way to remember that is it's a rectangle. First gear, cover the rear brake, preload, keep it loaded, clutch, right? Step number five is head and eyes. Step number six, slowly release the clutch into the friction zone. So again, we're not doing exercise number three here. I don't want you guys to be here and go like this. No, because then see what you're doing, you're throwing the weight to the side. When the motorcycle, as soon as you feel it, pick up that foot, your head's already turned. Step number seven, as soon as it starts to move, Pick up that foot, and step number eight, just turn the handlebars. And keep them turned consistently. That's the other C in the preloaded nation. Consistency. Don't do this unless you have to, right? I can understand you having to do it here because sometimes you start out, and we're on two wheels, balance sometimes is going to, you'll start out going to the right even though you're going to make a left turn. No big deal. Stay in the friction zone, rear brake, head and eyes, you'll be fine. Any other questions? All right, so I'm going to run through it. Again, it's straight through the first time you guys I don't want you to stop I don't want you to lean going through here straight up this is a gravel road keep that in mind a gravel road all you got to do is lean a little bit it could put you out or if that's not enough for you wet leaves nice and easy straight up second when I ask you when I tell you to stop you're going to stop wherever you feel most comfortable and you're going to make this u-turn your goal is to be near the middle that's the goal if you're over here that's okay and if you hit a cone that's okay for anything out here today one thing I can assure you, my cones are not going to hurt you. But putting your foot down can hurt you. So if you have to roll out of an exercise, but you don't put your foot down, that's a win for me, as far as I'm concerned, right? Because that's what we're trying to get over. Then I'm going to have you stop, make this turn, and stop. All right? We got to be able to come to a smooth stop. We got to be con under control at all times. Any questions? All right. You ready, Scarlett? Let's do it. Oh, God, no, I can't do it. 
is too much of a kick for me. All right, first time straight through. First gear, check, cover the rear brake, reload, clutch right before the speed spot, slowly release the clutch, once it starts to move, pick it up, head nice. Straight up. Zero lean. This is the same thing we did over there, smooth stop. Now we're doing it from a stop. Now that right there, that's a balance thing. I felt like I was losing my balance, so I just stopped. And I, sit, I said to myself, which way is it gonna go? If I lean my body to the left, it went to the left. And as soon as I felt that lean, that's exercise number three. Uh-oh, go back into the friction zone, I'm fine. Now we're gonna come to a stop. I'm not putting on the signal light because I gotta turn it off manually. Boom. Exercise number four. Straight through, head and eyes. Well, I did say straight through. That's my fault. Nice. Like he's on rails. And again, he's just practicing going as slow as possible. Obviously, if he wasn't going that slow, he wouldn't have went out this way. Good head and eyes, Joel. Very nice. Good, good speed, head and eyes. Look at my camera, keep looking at it. Don't lean. Straight up, that bag just missed my cone. Straight up. Slow down, slow down. Head and eyes, keep it loaded. Too much speed, keep it loaded. All right, he's gotta get more comfortable going slow, that's all that is. That's why on the approach he was going too fast. So I gotta let him know, slow down on the approach. Good, head and eyes, look at the camera. Too much speed, too much speed. Nice, Andy. Vanessa over here shaking his head. That was just a balancing last time. He held it a long time and then weight went to the right. There we go, it happened. Stay through. Nice. Good, straight through. The speed is perfect. Head and eyes, look at my camera. Keep looking at it, keep looking at it. Excellent, Steve, excellent. Get your foot up, slow down. Stay at that speed right there. Stay at that speed, keep it loaded, head and eyes. Keep it loaded, don't lean. Straight up, that's good though. Slow down, slow down. Stay at that speed, keep it loaded. Exercise number two, keep it loaded. Head and eyes, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Rear brake. Yeah, so when she turns, she gets scared. She gets spooked. Come to a stop. Head and eyes. Excellent, right in the middle. Don't walk behind the tap performance, Robert. Very nice. Well, stop wherever you want to stop, Mike. There we go. Looking really good. Head and eyes. Look at my camera. Keep looking at it. Say cheese. 
It's a balance thing. That's all that is. Okay, back up. Do it again. All that is is a balance thing. It happens. Good. Keep looking at it. Pretty low. Good. Head and eyes. Good. Keep it straight up. Nice, Mike. Six months. Straight through. Go straight through. Straight through. Keep it loaded. Nice. Straight through. Good. Stay at that speed. Stay at that speed. Keep it loaded. Head and eyes. Keep it loaded. Rear brake. I want to make sure she doesn't get frustrated. She's better going right anyway. I'm talking to preloader nation. All right, do it again. No, don't stop. Do the same thing again. All right, same thing again. Excellent, Texas, represented. I wanna get out there and do a practice session, guys. Send me an email, let me know if you're interested. All right, do the same thing again. That was very nice, very nice. Good, good, good. All right, a little bit of a lean there, no big deal. All right, same thing you were doing. It's just like exercise number two. Head and eyes, look at that camera. Use that rear brake. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. You good? Left hand on the right grip, right hand on the left grip. The left hand is pushing, the right hand is pulling, and you're stepping. Not like this, close but you have to do it simultaneously. That's the only way it's gonna work. What happened there? Oh. Load it. There you go. Same reason why you dropped it outside in the real world. You didn't keep it loaded, because that's, you were fine. If you look where you dropped it, you're in the turn. You didn't like the way it felt, but the good thing is you didn't hold on to it and pull it down, so now you scrape everything else up. The guards did their job. Yeah, they really did. They did their job. Yeah. All right, man. Identify and retry. I'm going to walk with you the whole time. What's happening? I have no idea. Well, what's happening is as soon as you turn the handlebars, you just don't like the way it feels. You, you feel like it. Again, you're not putting your feet down, so I'm happy about that. But just trust and believe, just like we were doing. When you turn your handlebars, if you keep the speed... Speed that you're going approaching, that's the speed I want you to keep. If you stay at that speed, use the rear brake to control your speed, you're not gonna, you're gonna have any problems. So let's do it. Reload. Exercise number two. Keep it loaded. Good, get that foot up. Slow down, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Head and eyes, look at the camera. All right, we're getting there. You used the rear brake that time. See, that time she used the rear brake. The other time she just flew right through here. Obviously, she didn't use it enough, but this, that's a start. Come to a stop, Andy. Nice, Andy. Come to a stop. So for safety reasons, I walk behind the motorcycle. But for tap performance, for ear safety, can't do that. <laughs> All right, come to a stop. Joel got a cutting board on the back of his motorcycle. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with that preparing meals on the road. All right, come to a stop, Steve. Head and eyes. Good.
Trust and believe, baby. Trust and believe. All right, do it again. Straight through. Slow down. Slow down. Straight through. Keep it loaded. Too much speed. Too much speed. And that happens sometimes. You have a drop and then you get, you know, you, you get gun shy. So now, when you get gun shy, oh yeah, it's right back to the speed because that makes us feel comfortable. That time you used some rear brake. That was good. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Good. Keep it right there. Good, good, good. Head and eyes. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. There we go. There we go. Last time, Andy. Straighten out. Good. Last time, then we're going right. Nice. Straight up and down. Straight up and down. It's like it's got training wheels. Beautiful. Good. All right, what happened there? I don't need that. I know. You put your foot down. Well, yeah, I put my foot down twice. And all that means is you weren't keeping it loaded. Because if we have power to the rear wheel, you're not going to want to put, you're not even going to feel like putting your foot down. You felt, oh crap, and went like that. That's why we practice exercise number three. No big deal. But now that you know what you did, Listen to that throttle. Try to keep it there. But if the throttle is all the way up, it doesn't matter if you pull the clutch in. So wherever you are in the friction zone, just stay there. You don't have to worry about it. Nice and easy. Head and eyes. Good, good. There we go. There we go. Oh my God, it's like you're on rails. Come to a stop. Oh, it was, oh, 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 not like that. <laughs> Straight through. Slow down, rear brake, rear brake. Yeah, too much lean, too much lean. Copy and paste, Chris, that was beautiful. And that's because you kept it loaded, you stayed in the rear brake. All right, let's do that again. Exercise number two. Slow down, slow down. Good, good, rear brake, keep it loaded, listen to the throttle. Shut it off. I don't know why this thing keeps... Oh, so yeah, we don't want to tip. I got it. Okay. Can you show me how to do it? So how to do what? How to pick it up. The pickup? Yeah. This one or the other one? This one. I don't care about the other one. Oh, man. This one, left hand on the right grip, right hand on the left grip. You're pushing with this hand. You're pulling up with this hand. Okay. And at the same time, you're walking into the motorcycle. Okay. Here you go. Step closer to the motorcycle. Okay, good. Push, pull, and step, same time. There you go, there you go. Step, 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 there you go. Kickstand. I didn't help her pick it up. I just held it for her so she could put the kickstand on. Good job, Chris. Right here, you got, right here, I saw what happened. Did you know what happened here? Uh, no, I don't. Yeah, well, not only did you pull the clutch in when you said, oh shit, but you looked at this cone. As soon as you looked over here, you're always gonna feel better balance with your head and eyes even with the horizon, all right? All right, but you're doing good. No, ah, yes you are. Don't get down on yourself. I won't allow her to get down on herself because I see the improvement. So now we're doing right turns. Good head and eyes, Andy. Good head and eyes. Definitely improved. Because Andy and head and eyes did not get along. He looks like a new guy out here today. Practice. Good. Keep it loaded. Head and eyes. Look at my camera. Keep looking at it. Keep looking at it. Keep it loaded. Good. 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 Keep it loaded. Open the clutch. There we go. You feel... Oh, open the clutch. That was excellent. Head and eyes. Good. Look at the camera. Keep it loaded. 
Excellent, Steve. All right, guys, watch this. Good, slow down, slow down, slow down. Too fast. All right, good. Head and eyes. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Rear brake, rear brake. Woo! What I told you. She's better going right. Nice, Andy. Head and eyes. Woo! Nice for this. Joel representing Texas. Beautiful. All right, copy your pace. Copy your pace, Steve. Do that again. Head and eyes. Head and eyes. Good, good, good. Outstanding, Steve. Outstanding. All right, good. Do that again. Good, good, good. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Rear brake, rear brake. Keep it loaded. Nice. Like butter. Do it from a stop now. All right, you're looking good, Steve. Six months, baby. Woo! Good. Look at his head and eyes. He never looked away. That's what I'm talking about. Beautiful. Let's do that again. Come to a stop. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Straight through. Head and eyes. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Rear brake. Keep it loaded. There you go! There you go, Chris! Using that rear brake. Where's the horn at? Straight through. Nice and easy. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Don't lean. Keep it loaded. Good. Excellent. His rights are better than his lefts, too. Right. Yeah, man. Love bugs. Happens to even the best of them. Yeah. Oh, we're supposed to do the kickstand first. Yeah. India, nice and easy. Look at that. Kickstand just goes out. I know it's out. No doubt. What happened there? Uh, no freeload. There you go. Come to a stop over here, Andy. Stop turned. Stop straight. All right, you're good. Come to a stop. Yep. All right, come to a stop right here. Stop. There we go. Excellent. Chris, come to a stop. All right, come to a stop over here. Head and eyes. Good. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Okay. <laughs> To a stop. Your right turns are definitely better than your left. Definitely. Right out of question. Come to a stop over here. Keep it loaded. Good, good. Straighten out, straighten out, straighten out. Don't stop at the handlebars turn. But that was good. Beautiful, 
Exercise number five. Yeah, I want you to go again. I was going to ask you to anyway. I was about to say, put the GPS on. Oh, it's on. You're looking right at it. Head and eyes, look at my camera. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. Come to a stop. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. All right, guys, in on a high note. Exercise number five, single serpentine. All right, before I even talk about exercise number three, or this exercise, I'm sorry, before I even talk about exercise number four or exercise number five, I have to, have to mention this. So for years, right, not in preloaded nation, but for me for years, the question has always been, why are my rights better than my lefts? Why are my lefts better than my rights? And there's been some theories, nothing proven, right? Finally, today, August 20, what the hell is today, the 28th, 2022, Practice session number 53, we have the answer. Kevin said, I told Kevin his rights are way better than his left. And he said, why are my rights better than my left? Steve said, I can tell you why. All right, guys, ready? Here it is. Everybody's been waiting for this. Your rights are better than your lefts because your lefts are worse than your rights. <laughs> there it is. You can't argue with that logic. Steve, thank you. He said it in the beginning. He said it in the beginning that he was... Uh, that's it. Put that in the fortune cookie. He said he was a geek and it's coming in handy already. All right. Guys, excellent work. Now, everybody that dropped their bike or put a foot down, well, every, almost everybody, the important thing is they knew why. Right? This is preloaded nation. We identify and retry. Right? And I thought Kevin, when he fell on the ground, I thought he was going to be done. Got back on his bike. And actually, the first time he went through, and it happens. You drop your bike, you get a little gun shy. So now he was really going fast. because no, no. But again, that was going left. I watched him do right turns. Oh, my God. Night and day. He had a little bit of a lean. I told him to slow down. So all, you, all that means is you're going to have to work more on your right than your left. Now, here's another thing I'll say to you. You have those stock bars on that motorcycle. They're low. What helped me out was changing the bars on my Road King. Now, my rights are actually better than my left. My lefts were always better than my right. Your setup has so much to do with how, you can, how comfortable you feel at slow speeds. Your handlebars, your seat, even the controls. Like some people will move their handlebars up but not adjust the stuff on it. So now everything is, you know. But excellent job. And Chris, of course, I always say things on the camera so the people at home are watching it. They're going to hear it twice. But when we started going right, I said to the camera, watch this. And sure enough, first try. Because your rights are better than your lefts. I remember that. So, again, now she knows that her rights are better than her left. There's no disputing that. She just has to practice more on her lefts. But sometimes that's difficult because we're already mind-screwing ourselves. We're already saying, this is my weak side. So, anyway, we'll just practice at it. All right? Because follow the leader, she did the U-turn in both directions. Crazy. Can't figure this stuff out. All right. Exercise number five, single serpentine. All right. These cones are 15 feet apart. All right? And this happens every class. I got a surprise for you guys too, something else new coming because I, I'm sick of talking about it. <laughs> I don't want you guys hugging the cones, all right? I want you to go out nice and wide. So here we are. Here's the first exercise where I want some lean and some of you still are not going to give it to me. Andy's going to give it to me in excess. So I don't, you don't need to be extreme at it, but I want you to go, if you're going too fast, you can't go out wide, right? It's going to show you. This exercise is important because you need to be comfortable Weaving your motorcycle. I'm not talking about on the highway going 50 miles an hour. Everybody loves to do that. That's why when they get in here, they want to do the same thing. Hitting every damn cone. All right? See how wide I'm starting out here? That's how I want you to start out. You guys are going to be coming this way. That way you can look at my camera. If you see me behind the camera going like this, if you don't see me, that's when I know you're not looking at me. Head and eyes. Listen to your throttle. All right? Friction zone. In and out of the friction zone. However you want to do it covering that rear brake the whole time because sometimes if you're going a little too fast sometimes getting out of the friction zone is not enough you might need to apply a little bit of rear brake all right any questions
Head and eye, straight ahead. Run out nice and wide. Head and eye, straight ahead. We don't do tricks in preloaded nation, but the point is, the throttle, I trust this idle more than my Harley. Definitely. I would never do that on the Harley. Because the Harley is like, no, 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 no. All right? But head and eye straight ahead. Stay in the friction zone. Remember, everything we do out here today, the motorcycle is pulling you through it. We live in the friction zone today. All right? No momentum. You can use a little bit of momentum in here. But when we get to exercise number six, the U-turn, no, I don't want to see any momentum. Any questions? All right, let's do it. See, Andy's going to give you the extreme lean. Nice, Andy, nice. Smooth. One with the motorcycle fluidity. That's what we want. Nice. Wow, very wide. So he had to slow down there because he went out really wide. Uh oh. Yep, yep, that's gonna get tight. He ain't gonna make that one. Because he was going out. If you're gonna go that wide, you gotta go even slower. Go wider, wider. See, hitting cones. Good. I see she went really wide there. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. I hear her bike sound like it's going to stall. Got to keep it loaded. Nice. Very good. Head and eyes. Straight ahead. Look at his head and his eyes. It's staying straight the whole time. Good, how wide? Good. Remember, we don't want to be going too slow either when we do stuff out here. I see Vanessa starting really wide. There we go. Oh, trust and believe, baby. Trust and believe. Now what happened there is he dipped the motorcycle a lot. He leaned it a lot, but he wasn't loaded. Remember, the more you lean the motorcycle, the more important it is that you're keeping it loaded, that you have power going to that rear wheel. And at that last moment, he leaned it all the way. Better, Chris, better. He leaned it all the way, but didn't have any power going to the rear wheel, and it was falling. He started to panic. He trusted and he believed. Go out wider, wider. See, he started too fast. So you're starting going too fast. Got to slow down. You're not going to be able to go wide if you're going too fast. Wow, Andy's getting more aggressive, but he's pushing himself. He's looking at every cone, <laughs> but I ain't got nothing bad to say about Andy. Nice. It looks like his head is detached from his body. It's just straight ahead. I'm back here dancing, wide. Good, good, good. All right, I got something for these guys coming up. <laughs> there we go, you're good. All right, come on, Chris. Good, good. Okay, good, she's working it out, working it out. All right, guys, we're going to move on to exercise number six, the infamous U-turn. We'll also talk about this one. All right, guys, good job on exercise number five. Listen, remember, guys, I don't want you guys going too fast out here, but also I don't want you going too slow. So sometimes if you're going too slow and you try to turn, yeah, it's going to feel scary because you're going too slow, right? Andy was really pushing the limits, looking good. The head and eyes are much better, man. Still looking at my cones a little bit, but it's way better. 
Joel, oh my God, just perfect. It's, it's almost like his head was stuck and his butt, it was, it was just moving like this. Head and eye straight ahead the whole time. <clears throat> finesse, finesse looks good. Now finesse was going through this and again, the good thing about confidence, there's another C word. It's not part of preloaded nation, cocky, right? Sometimes confidence, you start getting cocky or confident because you want to kind of push the limits a little bit more. So he really dipped the motorcycle, dipped it. The issue was when he got to the last dip, he dipped it all the way, but he wasn't preloaded. So now if you're leaned all the way over and you got no power, the ground's coming. Trust it and believe. See, that's trust and believe in real time. That was an old crap moment. Opened up the clutch and he walked, he rolled away like this. Like he's pissed at himself because that happened. Meanwhile, that's beautiful, right? Anyway, good job, Finesse. And Crystal, way better than before. I already told Crystal I'm not going to let her get down on herself. Don't hug my cones. Kevin, that's what you were doing. You're hugging the cones. Another time, Finesse was going out really wide. The wider you go, the slower you have to go, right? So no big deal. All right. Exercise number six, the infamous U-turn. All right, guys. Chris, you ready? Always. Good. The, the response is supposed to be ready for what? You can't just say always. You don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> always. All right. Listen, guys, everything we did, we're doing here. This, everything we've done already leads up to this. This is 27 feet wide. All right? Plenty of room. Now, I already know Andy and Joel are going to be in this 18-foot box. I already know it. If you want to challenge yourself, actually, you never know. Steve might be in here, too. You never know. It's not necessary. I say it all the time. It's not necessary to make an 18-foot or less U-turn. But if you want to challenge yourself, no big deal. When you're coming into this U-turn, just like I was telling you guys when you were approaching exercise number four, Kevin and Chris, I was saying, slow down. The speed that you're going approaching that is the same speed you're going to be in making that turn. Same thing here. Your approach speed, same speed. Not too slow, not too fast. Again, we're not doing a momentum U-turn. Head and eyes. Look at my camera. I, already, I told you guys last time, if you want to look in increments, fine. Look over here first, and then when you get halfway through, turn your head. Make sure the motorcycle is under power. Lean. And be consistent with the lean. Be consistent with the throttle. That's keeping it loaded. And be consistent with your head and your eyes. All right? Commit to the lean right away. I don't want to see you guys do this. Okay, you turn time. Now I look over here. Oh, man. Now... Now I want to start leaning. I made that way more difficult for me. As soon as you turn your head and your eyes, dip the motorcycle, commit to the lean. First time we're going to do a left turn, straight through. Then when I tell you you're going to stop, make the turn, bless you. Then you're going to stop, make the turn, and stop. Any questions? Ah, oh, God. Exactly. Head and eyes, commit. See, I'm not leaned a lot. You don't need to lean a lot. But if you commit late, now you're going to have to lean a little bit more to stay in the exercise. Bless you. Head and eyes. Rear brake when you need it. And then lastly, we're going to do that and we're going to stop. Head and eyes. Straighten out. Stop. Good? All right, let's do it. All right, let's see if we get some head and eyes from Andy. There we go. Commit right away. Very nice. Head and eyes. Nope, no head and eyes. No head and eyes. No head and eyes here. Good, you gotta turn your head and eyes. You're gonna turn it at all. Head and eyes.
See, she's way off the line. We'll work on it, we'll work on it. Head nice, look at my camera. Look at my camera, you're looking at my cones, there we go. Good. See how steady his throttle is? A steady throttle means it equals a steady U-turn. Head of nine! There we go! Alright, can you all hear me? I forgot to say, when you guys make these U-turns, remember, one of the C words, control. When you make the U-turn, I don't want you to end up going in this direction. All right? A controlled U-turn, you make it, you should end up going straight. All right? That's what I want you to do. Regardless of how extreme the turn is, control means you're ending up going straight. We good? All right. Let's do it again. Head and eyes, Kevin. You gave me none. Give me some. I'm going to be right here. Good. Keep it loaded. Head and eyes. Head and eyes. Head and eyes. All right. I already know Joel's going to be in this box, so let me move. Nice. All right, so last time you made this U-turn, you were way off the line. All right, so just make sure you start at that line, okay? Don't rip yourself off. You were like here. Instead of being here, up here, you started right here. So you're making that tighter. Just start over here. Good, good. Stay at that speed. Head and eyes. It's faster. You're going too slow. You're going too slow. Head and eyes. Head and eyes. Head and eyes. This thing just wants to run. Yeah. What happened there? Uh, so many things. No, you just pulled the clutch in. That's all. You took power away from the rear wheel. You got out of the preload. Down she's going to go. But everything was good up until here. For some reason, whenever you get to an apex of a turn, you start getting real like, I don't like this. Just keep doing what you're doing and you're fine. You're fine. Let's try it again. We got to put that Indian on the leash because when it falls, it wants to run. Good. Head and eyes. Look at my camera. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Oh yeah, it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> He just has to lean a little bit more and he's got the 18 feet, easy. Got the magic strobe going on. Alright, do it from the stop. Alright, you turn. Head and eyes, watch your speed. The only reason you were that wide before is you kept too much power to the rear wheel. Use the rear brake to control your speed. It'll tighten it up. Good. Commit to the lead. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. What happened there? I think uh, I uh, lost throttle. Yeah, you you pull, you're pulling in that clutch too. So you're doing two things. You're not keeping it loaded and you're pulling in the clutch. Remember, even if you keep it loaded, if you pull in the clutch, it's, it's pointless. All right? All right. Identify, retry. All right, you turn. Good job and straight out. We're going straight through, straight through. Straight through, straight through. 
Good. Keep that speed. Keep that speed. Head and eyes. Lean it. Lean it. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Head and eyes. Good. Good. Trust and believe. Now watch. When we do follow the leader, then she'll do it. So that 18 feet, if you had just leaned a little more, you had it. If you want it, you, that's all you need to do is lean a little bit more. So you want me to do a stop here for the box right here? Do a U-turn from a stop. It don't have to be an 18 foot box. Use the whole thing. Head and eyes. Good. Very good. Looking good, Vanessa. Magic stroll. Come to a stop. Oh, easy, Andy. All right, come to a stop, controlled stop. Trust and believe. Keep that foot brake, keep that brake covered. Start in the same way you always start. You can go straight first and then turn. You don't have to turn right away. All right, head and eyes. Good. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Rear brake. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Slow down. Good. Come to a stop over here. Cutting board. Nice. Good. Head and eyes. Too slow. You're going too slow. All right. And head and eyes. Come to a stop. There we go. Come on, Finesse. Because you're going to be going this way, Andy. All right, come to a stop. Just go straight through. Straight through. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Head nice, head nice, head nice. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. There we go. Joe. Straight through. Straight through. Keep that speed right there. Keep that speed. Head nice. Head nice. All right, too much speed. It pushed you out wide. All right, we're going to go to the right now. Nice. Very nice.
Alright, watch this. Right's are better than his left. Head nice. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Alright, so his rights are better going slow. Good, keep that speed up, head nice. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded, look at that. Nice. Beautiful. Steve saw that, he was impressed, he wants it. Nice, Steve. All right, so you got to commit to that lean earlier. You're starting your turn like this. And then you're committing a little. That's why it's so wide. Commit to the lean right away. Go ahead. Head and eyes. Commit. There we go. Commit. Ah. Commit to the lean. Head nice. Keep it loaded. Head and nice. There we go, Chris. Nice. Looking good, Andy. Good, Joel. Nice, nice, Steve. Nice, just commit to that lean and stay consistent. Good, head nice. Keep it loaded. Stop right here. All right, you turn. Looking good, Chris. Good, head nice, keep it loaded. Rear brake, rear brake, keep it loaded, head nice. Head nice, there we go. Definitely more comfortable turning right. Come to a stop, Doc. Nice. Nice. Stop. Good. That last U turn, that was the best for you today. All you did was add a little bit of lean. Add one lead. Yep. Come to a stop. That was excellent. Very nice. Beautiful. Come to a stop. Excellent. All right, you're getting spooked in this turn. As soon as you go to lean, you don't like it. You straighten up. Keep it loaded. Head and eyes. Load it. There we go. Come to a stop.
come to a stop. And then you're good, you're good, you're done, you're good. Good, head and eyes, look at my camera. Look at my camera. Come to a stop. Excellent, you're good. All right, after this, exercise number seven, figure eight. Follow Andy. After this, follow the doctor. You skip one. After this, follow the doctor. You skip one. Ha <laughs> ha. That's right, guys. Uh, good job here. Exercise number seven, figure eight, coming up. All right, guys. Good job on that U-turn. Let me tell you something. Every time Joel made a U-turn, Steve went. <laughs> and that was his motivation. Just by him seeing that, he started leaning just a little bit more. He doesn't have to lean a lot with that motorcycle at all. And just that little bit of lean, bam, he's within the 18 feet. He's more comfortable, right? So you've, you're very comfortable with that bike. And I love to see. So he said, I've been riding six months. And I've ridden over 5,000 miles, right? I'll hit 6,000 before I get home tonight. Exactly. And when he said that to me, I was like, okay, great. You know, there's a lot of people with those iron butt association things on their bike. But if they come out here, they don't, they, I mean, mm -mm, it's just not there, right? He is going to be, or he already is a well-rounded motorcycle rider. He can go fast, he can go slow. That's all you really need, right? Because he's gonna be comfortable all the time, not some of the time, right? So, good job. I also appreciated the fact that Andy, he would do an extreme lean, especially when we were doing it from a stop. But out of that extreme lean, when it was time to stop, ride his motorcycle, smooth stop. Beautiful. Joel, one time, did it from a stop, and I guess he didn't commit soon enough. So because he didn't commit soon enough, he had to do a more extreme lean and kind of whoosh, But he's controlled, right? It's all about being in control. Okay, that's, that's Andy. That's the doctor, yeah, Andy. Now, one thing I noticed that I wasn't sure about was when he goes into the, uh, the U-turn, mm -hmm. it looks like he shifts his weight. He, he's almost getting off the bike. Yeah, that's so how much he's shifting his that, weight. That's why I'm, I'm asking, because is that, is that I'm that shifting work? the bike under me. Yeah, so he's he's counterbalancing to the extreme. Really counter really counterbalancing is just keeping your body straight up and down. But even when I'm on my Road King and now my street glide, I started doing that too, not as extreme, but he's also shorter than I am. Right? <laughs> That's what so I was say. this is what I mean when I say you gotta kinda play around with a bunch of different things. Put your balls up on the tank. That's always gonna help you. But if you put your balls up on the tank and your bars are low, that's probably not gonna help you because now you're like this. Right? So it's a different it's a bunch of different variables. But also keep this in mind. A lot of the stuff that we're doing out here, some of it you'll do in the real world. That's why when we do follow the leader, I go out there and I make a U-turn right there. Right? That's actually, I measured it. That's more room than this. But people, just because everything changed, for some reason people kind of, you know. And over there, the only thing you're going to do is run on the grass. All right? But I'm glad to see that you're asking questions. I already saw the doctor telling you or showing you or demonstrating how to get on on the high side. Because every time you get off, I've seen this scrapes on people's seat because this foot is just dragging the top of it over the seat we're too old for that man we're too old and too injured get on the high side right i get you know how many every now and then somebody that's not a preloader with this ridiculous comments get on the motorcycle all the time on the low side like you get on the horse everybody's an expert get on your motorcycle whatever side you want to get on are you paying are you making payments on this motorcycle Anybody paying it for you? How about you, Andy? You, always, you get on your motorcycle the way you want to get on it. All right? Period. All right. Exercise number seven, figure eight. Same with 
as what we just did. Chris, they're going to be coming in over here. You're, I want you to come in over here. Your right turns, man, you are so much more comfortable going right to the point where your head and your eyes are not great. But if I tell you to look, you start jerking that handlebar. Come on, turn. Rear brake, turn. Rear brake, turn. Left, you ain't doing that left. You'll just go out wide. So, but watch it, follow the leader. I shouldn't have said it out loud. Watch it, follow the leader. Left turn, ain't gonna be no problem for her. All right. So when you guys come in here, where my motorcycle is, that's where you're coming in. So Joel, I know when you come in here, Andy too, I already know you guys are gonna do this probably in four parking spaces. So that's why I don't say use all the space you have. Use all the space you need. Don't rip yourself off. You come in here, head and eyes, look at that green cone. Hold it. Come all the way up here. Don't give this away unless you don't need it. When you get to the 12 o'clock spot, head and eyes, look at that green cone. Hold it. Hold it. Remember, Chris, when you were making a turn, you were going like this? No. Consistency. Soon as you commit to a turn, hold it. Right? Hold it. Hold it. Head and eyes, hold it. You're going for that cone. Hold it. Hold it. Transition. Remember, exercise number five. I, will, I also didn't want you to do that fast. Because the faster you go, the quicker your transitions have to be. Same thing here. I don't want you transitioning slow. Don't turn like this. You're losing space. Transition. Head and eyes. Hold it. Use all the space you need. 12 o'clock. Head and eyes. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. You're going to do this twice. Then you go out. Get a ka -ching. You could do it perfectly, but if you go out the wrong way, no ka -ching. All right? Now, if you don't want to do the whole thing, come in. Same thing. Head and eyes. Hold it. Hold it. 12 o'clock. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Go out. Make sure you go out on this side of this green cone. At least if you do that, you have it in your mind that when you do decide to make the next transition, look at all that space you got over there. Right? If you end up over here, Joel can still make it. The doctor can still make it. But if you don't really feel comfortable leaning, you're not going to make that turn. Go ahead. Uh, I see you got a question, um, Steve. Oh, no, I'm just tracing the pattern. You're tracing the pattern. Okay. Any questions? I'm going to run through it. All right. Remember, keep it loaded. Don't go too fast. Don't go too slow. Okay, now look at that cone. Hold it. Hold it. 12 o'clock. Hold it. Hold it. Transition. Head and eyes. Look at that cone. Look at that cone. Transition. 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 Listen to the throttle. And go out. So now when we did the when we did the U-turn, finesse is throttle. It's so steady, it almost sounds, it, it's so steady. A steady throttle and keeping your, keeping your hand on the clutch at the same spot. A steady throttle is a steady motorcycle. Like he doesn't have any of this, you know. I mean, and he's not swooping through it. The friction zone's pulling him through. So when you're approaching here, when you're approaching, when you're coming in here, find a good speed. If you need to look down at it, if it says four, five, yeah, don't put it on, the, well, you have a GPS, it still shows the speed, right? When you're approaching, look at your speed, right? And if you can see your speed, guys, look at the speed. If it's below seven, it's too, you're going too slow, right? Keep that in mind. Any questions? All right, let's do it. Finesse.
Very nice. Excellent! Excellent. Hey, Steve, what are you doing? You're supposed to be coming over here. <laughs> You're supposed to be coming over here and doing this. All right, let's start over, start over. So, no, 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 you're coming over here. Don't follow what he did. I don't know what he did. Steve causing trouble in here, making up his own course, and then he got Kevin following him. Come on, come on. Head nice, look at that cone. Hold it, hold it, keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. All the way over here, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, straight out, straight out. Oh, you had it. She had it, she had it, but it's coming. Now remember guys, this is 27 feet wide, 46 feet long. Very nice, so much more improved. There we go. Outstanding. Joel said, okay. Okay, I see you. I see you and I raise you. Yeah, he's starting those early. That's the only reason he's over that other line. Over here, he's early. But it doesn't matter. He's still within the same specifications. Outstanding. Good. Very early. Let's see if it affects him. Oh, he's good. Do it twice. Look at the exit. Head nice. Nice, Steve. Going too early. Woo. Good. Head and eyes. Look at that cone. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Look at this cone over here. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Oh, why you, oh, oh, look at her, look at her, 
look at her. I'm like, come on, come through here. I like it. She said, I'm ready. Get it. Always make sure you turn this thing off first. No, you listen. Oh, I wanted you to just do that. So, good for you. We gotta crawl before we can walk, Chris. Very early. This ain't happening. Too early. Yeah, too early. You started this turn way too early. There we go. And slow down. You're going too fast. Good. There we go. Very nice. Too much speed, too much speed. All right. All right, I just noticed that front light is adaptive, the top one. All right, guys. Moving right along. Exercise number eight, offset double serpentine. So the funny thing about the Indian motorcycle, we all know he's got tab performance on now. I'm taking these things off, there's no need for him. And now his bike is loud. But the Indian is deceiving because it starts like, <laughs> boom, it's like an explosion after that. At least the Harley kind of tells you. All right, listen, good job over there. I'm very, very surprised that Chris decided she was going to try to do the transition turn. But again, C word, confidence. If she's not confident, she ain't even trying it. So outstanding, outstanding. The rest of yous, yeah, Steve, slow down a little bit in there. It'll tighten everything up. But clearly you're comfortable, looking very good. Now, Finesse, you said, well, before I say that, exercise number eight, offset double serpentine. You said you're going to get it today. Can you identify why you haven't been getting it? Uh, yep, yep, it's the transitions. So what I, what, what I want to point out to you guys is when you do this, see how my motorcycle is facing? Now, Chris, hopefully you don't, you don't flip me off this time. I don't want you to go straight for the gate. I want you to come over here. We're doing mini figure eights here, right? If you go right towards this gate, and you don't really feel comfortable leaning the motorcycle, which means you're gonna be wide. You're gonna be all the way out here and you still have to go through this gate, right? So to make this easier and to have, help you practice more with your transitions, as soon as you come through this gate, dip right. Come to me and trust me. Come to me until I tell you to turn because it happens all the time. I say, come on, come on. They go, screw you. That's enough, Rob. Chris, when you come in here today, just humor me, green cones. I want you to go around the green cones first time. Just because you have more room doesn't mean I want you to have more speed. Because I don't, remember I kept saying to you, stop playing in the sand, get out of the sandbox. Don't go past this outside line. But you're still doing the same thing. Come all the way over here, head and eyes. Hold it. Head and eyes, look at the gate you came from. Hold it. Hold it, hold it, hold it. You get to hold yours a little bit longer. Transition. Now you go around that. For the rest of you, use. Swing out. Head and eyes. Look at the gate. Head and eyes, Andy. Handlebars. Hold it, hold it. So now we're not coming to it like this. We're like this. Head and eyes, look at the gate you came from. Hold it. Hold it, hold it. Don't transition slow. That's the problem that Finesse is having. He's transitioning like this. So now he's almost past the gate. He's not making it. And Finesse is still not comfortable leaning more. Otherwise he would make it. So this is what I mean when I say, if you got a shortcoming one place, make up for it someplace else. All right, transition. And now nice. transition. Any questions? All right, keep it loaded. Don't be going too fast. Don't be going too slow. See how it's the same stuff over and over? Nothing changes. Nothing changes. Fluidity. That's what we're looking for. One with the motorcycle. We're slow dancing out here. 
Swing it out. Head nice. Hold it. Hold it. Head nice. Look where I came from. Hold it. Transition. Head nice. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Head nice. Transition. Hold it. Throttle is steady. Hold it. Transition. Head nice. Hold it. Transition. Head nice. Transition. Keeping the throttle steady. Head nice. Head nice. Look where I came from. Transition. Good. Any questions? Throttle is steady. That knives look good too. Perfect, Andy, perfect. All right, finesse, let's do it. See, he's going right to the gate. Control represent Texas, exercise number eight. Next! Good, nice dip. He's going straight for the gates. That's why he's going out wide. But looking good. Very nice. Next. Head nice. Look at me. Come to me. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Transition. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Head nice. Look at the gates came from. Transition. Slow down. Good. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Head nice. Look at the gate you came from. Hold the turn. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Transition. There you go. Got to hold these turns. Hold it. Keep it loaded. I don't hear it. Keep it loaded. Good. Transition. Keep it loaded. Turn your head. Good. So a couple of the times she's coasting through the turn. Got to stay in the friction zone. Got to keep it loaded. Got to keep it loaded. All right. Come on, finesse. Hold it. Transition. Good. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Transition. See, the transition is too slow. That's why he's wide, but he's good. Hold it, hold it. He's going too slow. That's the issue. So far, so good, though. There we go. Work it out. There we go. There we go.
turn too early. Nice. Finesse, congratulations. First time doing it. I'm sorry you didn't have the horn blowing. But don't worry, I'm going to hook you up in post. So listen, when you're going through this, your transitions are slow. That's what's making it more difficult for you. But you worked it out. Transition. And the reason it's slow is because at some points you're going a little too slow. A little bit more speed, maybe one mile per hour. Transition. Transition. All right, but looking good, man, looking good. You ready? All right, let's do it. Damn. Do it. Damn. So, Chris, come right here. All right, so when you started, the way you started was great. Came out, hold it, hold it. But then you stopped holding it. You were just going straight across. That's why the turns were seeming so sharp and you were going over the line. But then you picked it back up. When I was going, hold it, hold it, transition. So let's do it again. Green. After this, we'll do the regular. We'll give it a shot. Come to me. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Hold. Transition. Good. Keep it loaded. Look at the gate you came from. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Too much speed. Transition. Good. Look at the gate you came from. Keep it loaded. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it, hold it, transition. Head and eyes, look at the gate you came from. Hold it, hold it, hold it. I didn't say stop. See, now you're going straight to it. Keep it loaded. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Transition. Transition when I tell you, not when you feel like it. <laughs> Hold the cut and then keep it loaded. A couple of these turns, when you're going around, it's like you're not keeping it loaded at all. It's like it's just idling. Just make sure you keep it loaded. All right? This is good. Look where you are. All right? But at one point, I was like, hold it, hold it. He was like, no, screw you, Rob. I'm ready to go straight. And that's what made everything seem tighter. So make sure when you make those turns, hold them, hold them, hold them until I tell you not to hold them. All right. You're doing well. So just stop it. Stop beating yourself up. Rome wasn't built in a day. This takes time. It doesn't take us all the same amount of time, but nonetheless, it takes time. You going for the green or you going through? You going the green cone or you going through? Okay, come right to me. Right away, right away. As soon as you go, come here. Head nice. Come on, come on. Head and eyes. Yeah. Is it in neutral again? We gotta get that checked out. How about keep flying in neutral by itself? That's crazy. All right. Hold up. Try it again. We'll try one more time for her. Green cone? Nope. Okay. Head and eyes. Look at me. I don't know why you're looking down. You ain't gonna make that. Green cone, baby. Green cone. Slow down. Slow down. Well, how big you think the green cone is? Go, hold it, hold it, hold it. Transition. Transition, good. Too much speed. Head nice. Too much speed. Whoa. Slow down. Head nice, head nice. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Slow down, slow down. 
Keep it loaded. Hold it. Head nice. Keep it loaded. Yeah, too much speed. Whoa! I, I'm not going to say I knew. I had a suspicion that was going to happen eventually. You okay? Yep. Because you're going around these turns idling. For some reason, you're not keeping it loaded. And then when you got right here, it got too low. Keep it loaded, you're going too fast too. Like you're flying to the next gate. And the head knives are like non-existent. And when I said head knives, you picked your head knives up, but you were like, where the hell am I supposed to be looking? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so remember, you're always looking at the gate you came from because that's where you're going. All right, guys, we're going to move one. Exercise number nine, the abominable snowman. We're going to have some people at the top of that snowman today, aside from me. Let's do it. All right, guys, winding down. Exercise number nine, abominable snowman. Chris said she's done for the day, or at least she's done for this time right now. And you know what? Kevin also said he wasn't comfortable on the offset double serpentine. If I didn't say it in the beginning, I'm going to say it now. There's never any pressure out here. You do exactly what you want to do and nothing more. Now, if you're in an exercise and you're like, oh, but I see something, I might say, do me a favor. Just try this one more time because that's actually happened where somebody was all down on themselves because they're not seeing what I'm seeing. All right? So if you don't believe in you, I believe in you. But mentally, I saw Chris going through that exercise. She's making mistakes she wasn't making all day. So she's like, all right, that's it. I'm done. And that's fine. All right. Four circles in the abominable snowman. 27 feet, 25 feet. 22 feet, 18 feet. Now, I'll let you guys know right now that um, Joel got here like 7.30 in the morning so he could practice, and he was killing the top of the snowman. So we already know he's going to be up there. But like I always say, there's no pressure up there. There's no pressure out here, period. So that's why I love this exercise, because it's something for everybody. If all you want to do is 27 feet, go around in a circle, and go out. This is your entrance and your exit. So when you go through it, come back through it to go out. If all you want to do is the 27 and the 25, do the 27 and the 25. Don't rip yourself off. Finesse, I feel it today. I feel 22 feet. Bring your wheel, if you're going to make a left turn, all the way over here. And then hug these two cones. And then commit. Commit to the lean. Hold it. Hold it. Oh, that sounds familiar, right? Because I've been saying it ever since exercise number seven. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. That's all we're doing here. Holding the turn. So remember, uh, remember I was praising Finesse for his steady throttle? Right? Joel too. Andy? Nice and loud so you can hear all of them from a distance. It's just steady. That makes this so easy. Right? Now when you guys saw me just with one hand using the idle, even on that bike, I feel it a little like this. Like, I don't trust that. That's why I'm still going to be in the friction zone when I'm on this. Alright? Any questions? Remember, don't rip yourself off. Use all the space provided for you. Head and eyes, lean. Not a big deal here, but... F oh, Chris is not doing this. Okay. All right. I'll run through it. Oh, so, and when you start this, if you start on the right side, the, the next time you do it, start on the left. All the way over here. Hug these cones. Hold it. Hold it. Head and eyes. Head and Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. All the way over here. Hug these. Commit. Head nine. Look at the gate you're going to. Hold it. Hold it. Wheel placement. Commit. Hold it. Head nice. Wheel placement. Commit. Hold it. If you want to live in here for a little while, you could. And, and so on and so forth. You get it. And then go back and do it in the other direction when it's your turn next. Any questions? All right.
All right, finesse. The only reason you didn't make this third uh, circle is look how early you started this turn. You look like you're way off of that cone. So you get tighter in there, you're going to be fine. I'll be there next time. I want Finesse to get this 22 feet today, not because it's necessary, but because he wants it. You just got to get a little bit more comfortable leaning the motorcycle. Perfect. Joe's like, okay, I see your perfect abominable snowman. I'm going to raise you one. There we go. Work it out, baby. I think it might come into the 18 foot circle. That's confidence. It's confidence to even go for it. Oh. That clutch is messing with him. He lets the clutch out of too much and then the bike shoots forward. Or, well it's not or, it's the same thing. If he feels, when he leans the motorcycle, when he feels it start to fall, he pops the clutch. But again, his clutch is fickle. Too early. Too early, yeah. So he already knew right away what was wrong. That's good. And guys, see, this is what I mean. This is so important for people to see people of all skill levels coming out here. Because it doesn't matter what your skill level is. This is a this is a perishable skill. Started that early, you're gonna have to really lean it to make it. No? Nope. Yeah? Good, good catch right there. So we can already see. That with Joel. This is not about where he is skill wise. It's about wheel placement. But his lefts are definitely stronger than his right. You, you started too early, that's all. About this much off the cone. That's all.
Too early. Too early, that's it. Otherwise, you got it, man. When you come in here, Joe. Uh-oh. Now we got to wait a half hour. <laughs> well, you know what? Dismount while you're waiting. You're good. Keep it loaded, see? Woo! Trust and believe! So this guy's in here drifting. <laughs> as nice as that looked. That's because his he had no preload. The bike was just falling. Yeah, he parked after that. He was like, screw that. He got to change his underwear. Left turn, which means he's gonna be making a left turn up here. No, he's gonna be making a right turn up here. Hug it! Good! Lee! There we go! And he got out of the lean and went back into it. Confidence, baby. That's what it looks like. It's another C. It's the number one C in preloaded nation. Confidence. All right, so we got Joel making a right turn first, which means making a left turn up here. Yeah, very, too fast, too fast. All right, and he's gonna be making a right turn up here. Come on, come on, come on. All right, lean it, lean it. You looked at it, you're looking at it. Yeah. All right, guys, we're gonna move on to the maze. And I know for a fact, I'm gonna have at least three people in there with me, at least. I know you don't think I'm gonna go on to the maze without discussing that Tokyo drifting that you were doing. Oh, I'll tell you what happened. So his clutch on his motorcycle, at least when I rode it, it sucks. As a matter of fact, when I rode um, Kevin's Pursuit, it's the same thing. The clutch just doesn't feel good. But his in particular, it's very, sometimes it's very hard for him to keep it in the friction zone, so that's why sometimes you'll see his motorcycle like pop out. But what really happened is this. As he's going around that turn, he's got almost zero preload. Keep it so loaded, with that lean, that's why the bike is falling. And he felt that. And he, I mean, this is one of those times where I say, you could, the bike could be almost all the way down. Trust and believe. It's a shit. Now that's the second Tokyo Drift we've had out here. The first one was an exercise number four, and it was an M109. Right, so now we're at M109, exercise number four, a uh, challenger, exercise number nine. But man, how proud I was. He kept it together. A foot never came down. 
he parked that damn motorcycle right after that. <laughs> he, was like, <laughs> he was like, all right, Chris, I'm, I'm joining you. That's it. All right, so here's the maze, and I already knew what three people were going to be here. So, all right. Yeah, he's here listening. All right, this is just a series of U-turns, 18-foot U-turns, which you all can do. Just don't rip yourself off. That's all you were doing. That's what I was trying to tell you. In the top of that snowman, you were just starting off the cone way too early, right? And the last turn that uh, Joel made, way too early. You just don't have any space to give up in the circle, 18 feet, right? The square, you have a little bit more space to give away, not the circle. Okay, so if you go in this way, you make it two lefts and one right. You're going the other way, two rights, one left. That's it. I'm run through it. Ah. Head nice. Don't cheat yourself. Head nice. You don't have to lean a lot at all. Especially not on that Pan America. Then go back the same, you know, the opposite way. Uh oh, sand, straight up. All right. Head nice. Straighten out. Head nice. Straight up. Head and eyes! Head and eyes, Andy! Head and eyes! He kept his feet on the footboards the whole time. Kickstand. Oh, okay. He's got it. Andy, that's a new method of picking it up? I mean, that's new to me. <laughs> it's like you're picking up a dead body. <laughs> but he had no head and eyes. Zero. Finesse is off camera in the snowman with his wife's bike. Very nice. Hold up, Steve. No, go ahead. If I knew him and Andy were going to have the Roll Kings, I would have bought my Roll King. We would have had a Roll King party. Okay. Steve said, I'm going to start on the other side first. Two lefts and one right. Head nice, Steve. That ain't happening. So, Steve. Before you're making that turn, you're making it like this. That feeling of falling is always going to be greater if you're looking like this. Turn your head and your eyes and look where you want to go and then turn. Try it again. Head and eyes, keep it loaded. There we go. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We're almost done. Nice. See the head nice? Just right here. Head nice. Head nice. Going over here. Good, good. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Trust and believe, Steve, trust and believe.
Counterbalance, no head nods. I want his preload to be a little higher. There we go. My fault. Good, good, good. Hold it, hold it. Too early, too early, too early. Going? Nope, you gotta commit. So you're not committing right away, you're turning like this. It's not gonna happen. You gotta commit right away. All right guys, follow the leader time. Follow the leader. Follow the leader. Who's doing follow the leader? Chris said no. Chris said hell no, we won't go. Kev, no? Okay. All right guys. Well, Finesse. it's, it's coming. Finesse is coming. He knows the rules, Steve. He's first time here, Joel too, so we're gonna go over the rules. They might be avid watchers and know the rules anyway, but we're gonna go over it anyway to be fair. I no longer do the Little League rules. I used to have somebody would do something messed up, they would be out, they pull to the middle, we do one circle around them, honk our horns, and then they would fall back in to the end. No more of that, this is the big leagues now. You're out, you're out. All right, we don't wanna be out here all damn day anyway. Okay, finesse change equipment on a smaller bike now. Okay. I'm the leader. Joel, you're behind me. Uh, you're behind him. Whatever I do, you guys do. The same way I do it. So, when we get to exercise number four, if I stop at the line, you stop at the line. For this, you tried to get away with that the, on the follow the leader, the last <laughs> one. I stop at the line, he's all the way back here. I'm like, now I did him a favor. I could have just let him do it and then said, you're out. I said, no, 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 move up. If I'm here, and you decide, no, I'm going to go here, you're out. All right, we go by integrity here. I'm not going to be babysitting you, but I'm going to have a 360 camera on. So if I'm, when I'm editing this, if I see it, I'm going to blow you up. <laughs> All right, just so you know. If you put a foot down, you're out. Pull into the middle. We're going to do one circle around you and just stay in the middle. Stand by, you're going to have company. <laughs> if you hit a cone, you're out. Pull into the middle. If you grab the front brake, you want me to do push-ups and you're out. When we ride on the concrete that's bordered by grass, if you run onto the grass, you're out. When we leave the parking lot, if you do something out there where you're out, well, I used to say stay with me, but it don't, don't make sense now. Just bring your ass back here, pull into the middle. All right? Any questions? All right, let me get geared up. Not average, the kinds of 
Egyptian 500 for the shoes come dirty but the European Less is more and less is the bank Up the score, I pull up from Trey From the tray, I'm ballin' like Trey Do what I can, I do what you can I wrote this 30,000 feet up Ten toes, stay g up I'm tryna get that type of wealth Like a house on the hills, can't see us Say the money still me up Stay humble, stay teed up I don't tell you how to live So don't hit me with no weak stuff And if you know the deal, then you know the deal If it's real, then you know it's real Toast Let's have a toast for the real ones Let's have a toast for the real Let's have a toast for the real ones Let's have a toast for the real Let's have a toast for the real ones Have a toast for the real Let's have a toast for the real ones
slow race, meaning the winner is the loser. My camera, I'm shooting straight across the finish line. Whoever crosses that camera first, you are the loser. In route to that, if you put your foot down, you stop, you're out. If you hit the line, stop, you're out. You can't be touching the lines at all. I'm not talking about this line. Somebody asked me, hey, what about this line? No, these lines, all right? When I say on your mark, you set go. If your foot is still on the ground, just stay there, you're out. All right, you guys ready? Any questions? Reload and start your engines. When my hand comes down, go, you go. On your mark, get set, go. All right, Andy, did you enjoy yourself? Always. You remember what you rated yourself when you first came? Seven. Any change? 7.1, I don't okay, know. Okay, good, because you weren't doing the top of that snowman before, so it can't still be seven. That's just my opinion. I don't rate anybody. All right, always a pleasure to see you. I know you don't live right around the corner. And big, big shout out. I don't know if you guys noticed Andy's t-shirt. Appreciate the support. Trust and believe. Finesse, do you have one of these shirts? I do not. You need to get one. And I'm not talking about beat a boss your motorcycle. You already are that. You need that. Trust and believe. Because, man, the, the, the Tokyo drift you did, that, that is some trust and belief for anybody else would have put their foot down. Anybody else. But like I told him afterwards, hi, honey, I'm coming over there. He came and parked <laughs> right behind her. That's it. It's a wrap. When I get home, honey, please help me wash these drawers. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. Pleasure to see you again, man. All right. Steve. Yes. You enjoy yourself? I had a whole lot of fun, yes. Good, good. You remember what you rated yourself when you came? 2.5. Any change in that number? Oh, hold up. I don't like to be in the frame, just in case it's a ridiculous number. <laughs> Dad? Yes, I'm upgrading to three. And next Sunday, I'll see you in Columbia, and maybe I'll be a 3.25. Is that so? Am yes. I going to be in Columbia next Sunday? I hope so, because that's what I paid for. Yes. <laughs> Columbia, Maryland. Columbia. Oh, I thought you were talking about Columbia. The, Columbia, the, Maryland. The country. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm looking forward to it. I, dis I strongly disagree with it. Would you say three? Yes. All right. Pa please, pass the mic. Pleasure to meet you, man. I should be a two? <laughs> no, you definitely. Mine, you should be higher. Okay. All right. Because I'm, I'm never mind. We'll talk. Okay. In Columbia. Four or five, you did everything except for... The and the only reason he didn't do it is because of wheel placement. And, and, and this. So those are bonus exercises. You gotta be at least midway. Did he do them? No, he never did the maze. He didn't I complete said it. he didn't get the bonus exercises. Ah, well, it's only one, that. That's the only bonus. Well, you're right. That may as well top be the, the top of it. It's not really a bonus, but it should be. You're right. It's actually more difficult than that, in my opinion. Kevin, you enjoy yourself? I did. Now, I just found out. Kevin used to live in... Well, forget about where he used to live. He lives in Pula now. Just found that out after he ghosted me. 
for so long. <laughs> so I and he's retired. Am I correct? Did you take on a new job? Yeah, I'm retired. Okay, good. So I expect to see him and that pursuit more than I don't. I'm just going to say that I expect to. I know we still have other stuff going on, but we have to prioritize this, especially if we love riding our motorcycle. Oh, I love riding. Then you want to get proficient at it. All right? Enjoy yourself? I did. Remember what you raised yourself when you first came? I think it was a three. Any change in it? Uh, uh, two. Okay. Very <laughs> uh, good. For the All right. Bike, this... uh, yeah, I, uh, yeah, I had a rough time today. Yeah. Well, you know, it's listen, it is humbling out here. That's a new motorcycle for you. You have to get acclimated to it. But just keep in mind, what were you riding before that? Uh, Suzuki Boulevard. Okay. Keep in mind, your Suzuki Boulevard. It, what did I say when we first got out here, man? The rules don't change. All right. Just keep that in your head. As long as you keep it loaded, it will not fall. Period. It will not fall. Listen to the throttle. Talk to me later about some tap performance so you can hear it a little bit better. Um, and are you getting tap performance on yours? You they sure? They don't make it for it. Why is that? Oh, yeah, Indian. Okay, oh. so, all right, so, you know, it is what it is. Maybe maybe one day in the future it'll be in the catalog and you'll be like, oh, look at this catalog, it's two pages now. That's, this is <laughs> <laughs> all right, pleasure to see you again. Yeah, give it to Joel. Joel, I think you came here from the furthest today, Texas. Did you enjoy oh, yourself? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Couldn't, good. I, could, I couldn't ask for a more fun day. Good, good. You remember what you rated yourself when you first came? I guess I had a five or something. Yeah, it was a ridiculous number. Any change in that number? I mean, I might push it to a six or a seven. <clears throat> I mean, I, I, did, I did lose you on that top part of the snowman, so. It doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. <laughs> it really doesn't, because this is not a competition. That number is just for you. But if, the, if, if you're happy with that number, I can put an asterisk next to it in my brain. I disagree with it. You know, in my opinion, you're higher than that. How about that? Fair enough. All right. The finesses. Did you guys, that's right, take a knee. Did you guys enjoy yourself? Heck yeah. Yes, I enjoyed myself. What did you rate yourself when you first came out? You said a uh, uh, confident two? Confident two. Any change in that number? A humble one. A humble one, okay. Finesse? What did you uh, rate yourself when you first came out? What was it like a... Three, you said four again, some four, ridiculous did number? Say four? I four, know, four and a half. Down. I think you said four and a half. Any change in that number? I said four and a half. Uh, probably about four and a half. Maybe, maybe, maybe five. Is the number going to go up when you do that 22 foot circle? Oh, for sure. Okay. And it's got to go up a little bit for that Tokyo I, Drift. I, I, I felt it, and I was going to try it, but, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Didn't work out. Like I said, no pressure. I want you to be confident and comfortable. That's what it's all about. All right, guys. All right, guys. Practice session number 53 is in the books. Ooh. I'm exhausted, guys. But I'm telling you, it's always worth it. Now, you heard everybody talk about the fact that they enjoyed themselves, and um, some people... Rating themselves, the number went up. Some people went down. But that's what this is all about, guys. We're out, there, we're out here to get better, right? To get better. And it's humbling out here, right? So some, sometimes people rate themselves a little high, and at the end of the day, if they don't feel great about it, they'll say, eh, I'm a little lower. Remember, that number's for you. It's not for me. It's not for anybody else. That's for you. And it's just so you can have a goal to work against. So next time you come out here, if you feel a little bit better about how you did, you raise your number. It's about how you feel, right? Nobody's going to judge you about what number you do. I mean, I will if it's, if it's ridiculously low. I try my best not to, but come on. Some people, it's just, it's, just, it's just ridiculous, all right? Anyway, right now the VIP loaders are picking up the cones, and I appreciate them for that, especially since I'm exhausted. <laughs> uh, guys, remember the three C's in Preloader Nation. Number one, confidence. That's the first one because that's the key one. Everything follows once your confidence goes up. All right, so we're out here to get, raise our confidence. Number two, consistency. You need to consistently practice, all right, in certain exercises. You need to consistently keep your head and your eyes turned, preload, and keep it loaded. The end, keep it loaded is being consistent. And when you turn your handlebars, keep them consistently turned. And lastly, and I'm not, I'm not saying this is last because it's the least important, control. We always want to be under control. And the more you practice your slow speed maneuvers, the better control you're going to have on your motorcycle. And that's what this is all about. All right, guys? All right, guys, listen. Hit that um, subscribe button if you're not subscribed yet. Hit the like button. And if you want to be notified whenever I put a new video out, hit that notification bell, switch it to all. Don't forget, guys, in my practice session videos, I put chapters in there now, so I want to make sure you guys don't miss anything. Now, you can still miss something <laughs> by skipping to the certain um, parts of the video in the chapters. Uh, but I know everybody doesn't have 
two, three, four hours, whatever the video is to watch in a shot. Some people do because it's almost like a movie and we're learning. And that's what this is all about, guys. We have to invest in ourselves, all right? And sometimes you invest time, sometimes you invest money. In this case, it's just time, right? So even if you have to watch it over the course of days, watch it all. So make sure you get it all, all right? All right, guys. Remember, spend more time being thankful for the things that you have and less time complaining about the things that you don't, guys. And remember what I always tell you guys. I want you to practice, 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 practice. I want you to preload and keep it loaded. And I want you to practice, practice, practice some more. I don't care what kind of motorcycle you ride. I don't care how many miles you've ridden. I don't care how many years you've ridden. If you're not out here practicing the slow speed skills, at slow speeds, you're at the same skill level and confidence level as a brand new motorcycle rider, right? And we don't want that. We want to be well-rounded motorcycle riders. So this is how we do that. All right, guys, seat time doesn't equal practice time. And if you have time to ride, you have time to practice. Until next time, guys.